Yeah, definitely don't right, go. I'm it's not okay. Intro. It's no, it's okay. okay. Watch this. So is, that, is it working? Is it's it happening. Yet? Great. Okay. Watch this come up. People Boom. are appearing on screen. There you go. Look, he's there. Hi. I'm we're right back next together. To Liam. We're back together again. And How exciting! Here is this comes in Josh. Like definitely, put, definitely mute that so can that we, we don't hear. It. Oh, Excellent. Yeah, Everything's yeah, going yeah. well. Can we hear us? All right. Josh. Can everyone hear us? Hello. Welcome, Josh. Welcome, Thank man. You. Thank, Thank you for so having much. me. This is One of the lead actors here. on uh, Uncharted 4, which is very exciting, played Sully. Lead. Wait, that was a couple yes. weeks ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 he played Drake. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You'd make a good Sully. Um, <laughs> You'd make a great Sully. I, I, I cannot possibly hope to match uh, Richard's uh, amazing uh, deep throated oh, laugh. Oh, my so. goodness. Oh, my God. Lord, Lord Actually, knows we all tried. Yeah, well, I'll bet. What's, who's, who's your closest man? Like, if you were like, I could I could fill in in a pinch, who would you, who would you oh go for? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know the uh, the guy that Elena? you shoot that falls off the cliff uh, <laughs> screaming and screaming. <laughs> no, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Dragon, Eddie. I love Eddie. My, well, my uh, my uh, avatar, my uh, my work avatar on our uh, Slack is actually uh, Lazarevich from Oh, Two, because you know <laughs> because you know he's bald and wears black and is evil. Seems appropriate. Yes. So, amazing. What was distressing when I started these because Nolan was like was was in on it and. I brought up my because uh, I'd kept my PlayStation Plus since whenever they started PlayStation Plus, and um and I'd loaded it up for the first time and I was like, oh that's right, Nathan Drake's been my avatar since I was a kid. Literally, <laughs> so and now you're talking to him. <laughs> I'm like, Oops. hi Nolan. I remember you told uh, me that amazing. story because Liam, obviously, this is before yeah. you know Liam had even met Nolan. Yeah, for sure. And he's had and literally when I logged into his to his PlayStation, it was it was it goes from a friendship to a stalking relationship really fast. You're like, <laughs> you're like, I really oh, love you. Yeah, I've had all of your stuff, mate. <laughs> terrifying oh boy um yeah so it was, it was an awkward uh, conversation so josh is the, the co-writer uh, slash brains behind how many how many josh how'd you, you wrote four in the so i i co-wrote uh four uh with uh neil and i mm -hmm. co-wrote lost legacy yeah. with uh, shauna sky uh i was part of the uh, story development process uh with all those folks on the uh, first two games as well, but you were uh, animation director, okay. animation director, cuts, yeah, no, like yeah, uh, the uh, cinematic, cinematic animation lead, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so for those, I uh, helped uh, with the uh, story development uh, early in the process and did a little bit of writing on those. But uh, as cutscene production started uh, ramping up, I sort of moved off Thank the you, story Dodgers. team and onto the uh, and onto the uh, cinematic. So responsible for everything yeah. that Uncharted is. Good to know you heard it first. He's 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. responsible for the yeah. entire game. No, I am shaking my head yes. And I'm saying no. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's incredible. So, yeah. Uh, so, but you, you, hang on, you started with with Naughty Dog on Jax, right? Jax and Daxter? Yeah, the original Jack and Daxter. Uh, so yeah, I have now been with them for over 21 years, uh, oh, which is... Uh, Every time I say Since that, out loud, it's kind of staggering. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I reached I reached that particular milestone of this particular milestone when we were um, wrapping up The Last of Us Two, and I was talking wow. with one of our junior designers, and I said like blah 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 blah. Yeah, and the first Jack and Daxter. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, did you ever play it? And he's like, dude, I was three. And, uh, <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my God. And then I sort of just instantly turned into a skeleton and uh, yeah. turned into dust. <laughs> That's how it <laughs> happens. Blew, blew away. Jones. That sounds yeah, right. Yeah, so, exactly. what? so you so you're on Last of Us as well. Uh, I was on the second one. I actually didn't second work one. on the first one. Uh, the first one was uh, being developed. Uh, at more or less the same time as Uncharted Three was. Mm -hmm. So, uh, right, right. And then once, and once you you three uh, wrapped, I went straight on to uh, Uncharted Four. Um, okay. So, uh, and a lot of the early development for that, because not only we were trying to make a new Uncharted game, but we were moving from PlayStation Three to PlayStation Four. So we were starting to look into a lot of new and wow. improved how do you, uh, like, technology oh, and how stuff. How do you do that? Like, how like, do you? because <laughs> like, is it is it a whole new like um infrastructure and sort of ecosystem in terms of like you or do you just go oh it's unreal with different like coding rules it's just like yeah, a whole new thing no 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 i mean so the, the short version the, the short for the short version is this um every playstation up through playstation 4 it had a very 
different it was a proprietary uh, architecture stuff, right? and yeah. yeah and architecture in terms of like the chips inside and things yeah. like that playstation uh, 3 <laughs> in particular exactly was really complicated in that regard yeah and so pretty much every time uh, we use our own custom engine we don't use unreal or, Sorry, I, or anything I like that, that. I oh no but uh but mm-hmm. every but every single time we've uh had to transition consoles uh it was basically throwing out nearly everything and starting from scratch wow um, Jesus. the difference but what's nice though is now with the playstation 4 uh it was very specifically designed to not be super complicated with a cell processor and six spus and all this other crazy yeah. stuff it's very much more like a fancy version of a high-end pc and so likewise right. the playstation 5 is also that so when we've been transferring all of our tools and technology from the four to the five it's been a much much smoother process that must be nice uh, <laughs> so that's so that's been nice so yeah a lot of i mean when we were working on charter four um i don't think we had like a colored triangle on the screen for like a year <laughs> into the wow. process because just trying to get wow. just like trying to get that whole thing going and then early development was also like on a pc version of the engine because we didn't even have the playstation 4 dev kits yet so wow. it's this you it's this laborious from pc that's crazy yeah wow. yeah so that was yeah it's a little it's been different on playstation 5 but yeah uh, sure is it but, but from three to four it was uh it took a while is it the most satisfying yeah. experience in that regard to be able to have less sort of back-end work and be able to spend more time on the actual game part not being <clears throat> excuse me not being a programmer i'm going to speak for them though and say like yeah i think so sure, i think sense. not having to not having to throw everything out is definitely, <laughs> it's over, yeah. a, 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 definitely a positive uh, aspect of it and but so as, as a result you know what you do instead is like you know you do story development and you start doing design work and just on the previous version of the engine so like uh, y'all are having uh, Kurt on here at some point, right? And uh, we're hoping to possibly, yeah, we'd love to, yeah, absolutely, yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, but yeah, I mean, a lot of the stuff that happens early on are just prototypes of uh, design things that eventually make it in. So things like uh, starting to play around with like driving a jeep, and like, yeah, what's involved with that, or the grappling hook. Oh yeah, uh, for sure. And, yeah, yeah. and uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. there was also. And we were even looking at uh, doing some uh, interesting things with the uh, climbing mechanics in this game. Yeah. And um, the long story short version of that is that we did all these kind of interesting things, like with you know, like with a stamina bar and all these, yeah. like trying to make it feel more challenging. But mm. what we ultimately realized is that uh, it kind of got in the way of the way that we like to blend. Uh, platforming and uh, gunplay like we didn't want to have people paying attention to stamina yeah, while they were also on. outrunning people shooting you and all that kind of stuff we wanted to keep everything sort of quick and moving along it is so, funny that like, mm-hmm. simplicity yeah. is is key like we, I, I make board games because i'm a nerd and it's tricky like you keep adding features essentially and then you're like it just complicates what could otherwise be a fun like it's already exactly. good enough like it's it's already fun enough if, if you're not you're solving problems you don't have in a way yeah that's no that's that's exactly it so and um uh, and yeah so we sort of stuck with a lot of things and really what it just became about about was trying to find ways to like sort of evolve the existing mechanics a little bit yeah, hence sure. the hence the um uh, grappling hook hence the jeep hence uh, a lot yeah. of the stealth mechanics uh mm-hmm. in this game were much more complicated than the previous games yeah sure and then also just really being able to combine a lot of things that we were simply not able to do on the previous systems just due to the memory or cpu power that what, was required what so like what things did you have in the bank? uh the uh the entire chase sequence that happens right. a couple of chapters from yeah. where you are right now would oh, have been okay, a okay. very very different thing on the playstation 3. right uh which actually be getting would, into that chapter do you have today, to keep hopefully. like gate yeah. things in terms of like you can only have so much memory so you can only do so much chase kind of thing is that kind of what the limits are or? it's just a, it's just really the sheer amount of stuff that the console has to draw yeah and, sure mm. and like every little thing like people who are graphics programmers and just the programmers in general are measuring things in how many uh, milliseconds they take wow. uh, because ultimately wow. uh, our game runs at 30 frames a second yeah. so obviously every one 30 times a second yeah. has to redraw the entire screen so yeah. mm. so within those milliseconds like how much can you draw how many math computations yeah. can you do what controller input can you read all that kind of thing and every yeah, little shit. tiny bit adds up and sometimes it's the background artists uh figuring out okay okay well you know what we can actually reduce the detail on those yeah, things that can in the be background like because that can be, yeah, yeah or we can do these things or like we can mm. like figure out ways to draw fewer things on the screen uh or it's just because 
or it just becomes like, yeah, you can only have uh, six Jeeps chasing and not 20. I was like, oh, okay. So, <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so, yeah, so, and, and, it all, and it's just all just, and it's all just a balancing act throughout. Yeah. Um, that's a yeah, yeah. We, we were talking off stream cool. about the um about that matrix demo for the for unreal 5 or whatever it is yeah. and and how in that there seems to be real time like like a hundred cars chasing yeah, you know, yeah chasing yeah. you and then just yeah. the ability for the for the for them to process that much information using you know i guess a yeah. combination of better, better hardware and better kind of software as well mm. yeah no um, it's exciting it's it's really exciting i'm really psyched to see like you know there's already been sure. some really cool games out on the new systems uh but yeah. a lot of those were sort of developed uh as a bridge between uh, mm -hmm. four and five so very soon you're going to start seeing games that are solely developed on the For new five, hardware yeah. that are really mm -hmm. taking Take advantage care. of the hardware really sort of figuring out ways to make it efficient and um, and that's all and you always see that with consoles something. like if you look at if you look at games made early on and that's in a console life cycle versus the ones at the end sometimes you're just like how is it that these were on the same system it blows like, my mind uh, like the way that yeah. you, you just think that there's like i always found that weird about because i'm a pc gamer from way back i was always like well, yep. PC in, in the time that I've had my PlayStation, whatever, I've respect my my PC like four times. Yet yeah. yep. I'm still getting yep. comparable games on this old, old archaic hardware, but well, it's so much more refined. I mean, you know, the nice thing is that you learn to work with it and you learn what makes it efficient. I mean, if you look at, for example, the difference between Uncharted One and Uncharted Two, um, it's a little harder to tell now because the remastered collection. Yeah. Uh, out right now actually went back into Uncharted 1 and borrowed all of the uh, skin shaders and lighting techniques from uh, the third game and applied oh, to the first one. Cool. But if you ever go back oh, cool. but if you ever go back and look at the first one like maybe on a YouTube stream running mm. the original thing it doesn't I mean it looks good for its time yeah. but it's night and day between 1 and 2 like the crazy right this, everybody's skin in Uncharted 1 looks like everybody's sort of been slathered in oil yeah uh, <laughs> Not like that, you can't have the same not texture. That, right? Not that there's anything wrong with that. No. But, uh, and just I heard Nolan demanded it in, on, <laughs> on, on set. He was just like, dude, you, we can't put the oil in the mocap. It maxes up the sensors. He was very insistent, but you know, we, we, sort of, we worked out a compromise. That's yeah, all I'm yeah. going to say about that. It's like a shea butter. <laughs> but, um, uh, but even from my experience, coming in fresh from the Uncharted thing, and, and I got to do the playthrough, so yes. I was introduced to Uncharted live with nolan and liam playing it for the <laughs> first time and i i had to keep reminding i keep I, I remember multiple streams i was like hang on when did they fucking make this yeah. like i couldn't believe <laughs> yeah. the Staggering, advanced right? tech yeah. but also just the gameplay and the style of it and the tone of it and it was just the storytelling like the I, storytelling was just I told next nolan level. This. when i i was working at uh electronics boutique uh as yeah. a manager back <laughs> in the day when it came and i'd played every game that was in existence and except I was just looking at it was I think it was I somehow hadn't heard of it and I was it was like the like the Sony Classics range or oh, something and it was right. like this discount yeah. like just like cheaper I was like what's this I was like it looks like an Indiana Jones thing but the box art I was like because it was like the with the um you know the, the the Sony special collection thing so it wasn't like the actual box art it was I was like mm -hmm. I mean eh, it's a good price I'll try it and I'm like I was expecting zero things from it and it was like the, I was like. This may be the best game I've ever played. Legit. What is oh, going amazing. on? Legit. It was such oh, a mis <laughs> it was so weird. Yeah. What a it's, cool experience, though. To expect was, nothing from the yeah, game. Yeah, it was like it was like walking like, oh, into so the first Suicide Squad and realizing you actually sat down in Lord of the Rings, and you're like, "Well, this is very <laughs> well, but, good." But, but, but on the same on the same end, of <laughs> Lord of the Rings is kind of a fantasy Suicide Squad if you think about it. Well, I mean, if yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah Helm's Deep, it's all there. But on the same end of me, I've heard about it for a decade. And you think, oh, I'm going to step back in and start at the first one and be like, oh, I'm going back to Pitfall. But it was literally, <laughs> it was like mind blowing. And people are in the chat going, you haven't even fucking touched, like scratched the yeah, surface. Yeah, you don't even know. Yeah, Wait exactly. until you, you get to wait, two and yeah. onwards. Oh, like, man, yeah, two. well, it's, yeah. there was so much like, un the first Uncharted was such a rough uh, thing. But apart from, again, the transition from PlayStation 2 to 3 was a real big challenge. Sure. Uh, but right. we were also, we and yeah, we were just trying to discover what the game was uh, cool. as, as we oh, were going yeah, along. Course. And, you oh, know, and, you know yeah, with uh, yeah. Amy Hennig and Bruce Straley and everybody else's like goal to make this sort of like very cinematic feeling experience. Mm. Uh, but the fact, and the fact, and the fact is, uh, you know, we accomplished a number of those those goals, but we fell short of what we wanted to do in a lot of respects. Uh, partially just oh. because we're so a lot of it was really you don't rushed. Like it, we, we, we don't. Yeah, see we it. we uh, like 
the whole gameplay of like uh, Drake hiding behind objects and uh, popping out and all that stuff. That oh. stuff went in much, much later than you would. Really? Than, than, uh, really? Like, really? Yeah. Prior to the E3 that year, uh, we still had sort of a uh, pop over uh, targeting system, uh, very similar oh, to like really? uh, Zelda or yeah, Tomb sure. Raider. And then uh, yeah. we changed it. It felt a lot better. Had to go back to all the levels oh that we had already God. done and sort of refactor them to fit. Wow. An amazing um, decision. As then, a voice actor, then, I always liked that because, like, yeah. in Gears of War, they were like, "Oh, Liam, we've we've actually had to change the second half of the game because of reasons." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." And they're like, "So we have to re-record. We have to change the story and re-record." And I was like. Oh no! Will you need me to re-record dialogue? And they're like, "Yeah, sorry, man." I'm like, "Oh, oh no!" Tragic. <laughs> tragic. <laughs> hey, before we, before oh, we move, oh yeah, oh, no. Yeah. Where do they put my watch? Yeah, oh, oh no. Yeah, exactly. um, yeah, no, uh, yeah. But I'm so, interested. so like when we, so when we went to Uncharted Two, uh, a lot of us were just ready to hit the ground running because there were so many things we wanted to do and just wow, ran yeah. out of time to do it. So. And one of the biggest things that happened, apart from the improvement and the lighting and the skin and all these things, was we created the ability to have gameplay happen on mm. moving objects, which doesn't oh, seem like yeah, a big sure. deal. Uh, no, but totally. if you look, but if you look at the first game, there's this whole sequence where like you're on the jeep and shooting guys that are coming at you. The jeep is not the jeep is basically just stuck on a invisible track yeah, being pulled yeah, through the environment sure. Oz or all the other vehicles like there's not a lot of physics stuff Destructive, going on yeah, sure. and yeah. and all that kind of thing versus the train which is honest to god moving through an environment yeah, is physically yeah, simulated yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. and everybody is running on top of it and you know that was the that was the big thing because so much of what we wanted to do uh is put the bombastic cinematic stuff yeah, as, yeah. The, as as we'd like to say on the stick like yeah. you didn't want to just be like you're sitting back and watching all the cool shit happen you're actually yeah. playing it and mm. that one little technological advancement which took almost the entire production to get to work <laughs> as best as we could <laughs> yeah. um, wow. is what allowed us to really fulfill the vision of the what we called the cinematic active cinematic experience and that's perfect that's what we that's started, alignment alignment yeah. Yeah. That's technology what, and vision and that's what we carried forward throughout so yeah. everything in that game from the train to the opening sequence where you're hanging from the train to like the bridges that collapse to the truck chase to er everything yeah. was only was possible because of that one thing is like we have to aim for this because this yeah. is what and and that that's we've just carried amazing. forward since let's uh, let's give a shout out to the people we have this uh, oh, yes. wonderful community that always like like helps Thank helps you. us out and stuff like that so if you want to give a shout out to some of the the people that are... we're just going to do a quick shout out to hot space because so basically how it works josh is people can give us like donations for the channel they call it soup right they call yeah. it soup but it's like a donation to the channel so hot space is thrown in 20 pounds they're pounds, pounds. That's pounds. pounds. That's from england i was just i, was just you going? I know you're just testing I just me i don't understand that I'm sure you work out. And Pick Dini <laughs> dropping 20 US dollars. Uncharted 4 Adventure Party Soup. Thanks, mate. Thank now, you, guys. Thank Beautiful. you. Beautiful. I'm not going to lie. This chat has been firing. And I've you were going to say another Josh, word. So <laughs> I haven't. Oh, what well, you want to Should we get into starting into the game so we can play any yes, of yeah. the games? And then That's we can good. talk. You can look at the chat. We I can, can I can talk yeah, about yeah. 1990s games with Josh. It's gonna be great. And I'll catch um, you up, Josh. Because there's there's I mean uh, uh, there's pages of, of I have that I haven't got to because I was listening. So I'll just you know, find, I mean, go if anything through. comes oh, up. I can I can see it. Don't worry. There oh, yeah, if anything comes okay, up great. in the chat that you want to ask, go for it. I'll just sort of be. Yeah, watching. yeah, yeah. Anyone yeah. fire your and questions? Change it thousand um, year thousand yard square uh, stare from the uh, from the. Yeah, there it is. Thank you. Yeah, you'll be like, no, you're not answering that. <laughs> um, so Liam's going to be playing. You have the control. Lift on, that controller. I'm Boom. PlayStation the 5. There it is. We're ready Lovely. to go. I might I, get us some hydration I mean, as well. Get sure, us some mate. water oh, you, to, okay, you sure. know what I mean? To have a little, uh, um, little sip right. on. We're going to switch screens here to the game. I don't know if you guys can hear, but when while Josh was talking every now and then, the... Uh, Earthquake would drop the rocks. Yeah. Did you guys I'd hear, hear like it? little? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we can hear that. I think yeah, myself and Josh can hear. I don't think Chat yeah. can hear it though. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna um, game trio. Boom! This is us. Look at that! Right Beautiful. Is that coming through? Can wow. everyone hear? Do you what want to just do a couple of practice shots? I can, it's gonna be loud. Nice. Yeah, that's great. That's gonna be loud when we get into it. If, if can everyone uh, hear that? Yeah. Are happy. You might want to bring it down though because I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, yeah. You. Definitely drop the volume down on the game. Because we won't be able to drop the game. Just be me volume. shooting things. I'll have to yeah, hand it's quite loud. This one, right? 
Yeah, let's find out. We don't out. have a lot of shooting right away. Yeah. Got a <laughs> That's true. Got How's a little that? ways to go. Do you want to do a couple so. of shots now? Yeah. I'll shoot these creepy, creepy ghosts. Um, angels. I got it a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. I mean, you yeah, can also that. turn it down in the game. You can turn it down in the game itself, too, that's if you true. want to. Yeah, yeah, so you that's can. true. That's why we have oh, the people that run the that's game. True. See, that's why, he's, that? that's why he's got the job. That's why he's been there <laughs> that's for how you get. Years. That's, I believe, right. Neil's <laughs> like, hey... So you've got I actually, in the I, game. I actually do tech support. That's my real. That's my real job. <laughs> oh, <there you> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they make settings. Like, in I the like game. you for this job, but pop quiz: How do you drop the sound of the game? How do you drop the like, sound? You go to that hired. little cog. <laughs> <You're hired>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how's that? Can you just like fire a couple more pellets. What's that? It's like the old hand lines. <laughs> <laughs> I'm realizing I've never what's actually that? used the PlayStation's active trigger button before. This is going to be weird for me. Where it's yeah, it seems good. Where it, where it has like an actual trigger. See, you feeling this? You yeah. done this? You try this out? No. Touch, touch this. Try to shoot, shoot a bullet. Right. Get the fuck out. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I love That's the, a trigger I love for the reaction. Pull. It's so cool. And, right? Yeah. Holy shit. Right. Do you want to play? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to do some shooting oh, you later. Start, you, okay, well, we'll get to a shooting session. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're excited. I'll, I'm, I'm going to go get some hydration. Can wait play something okay, with you arrows? Oh, you just have me. Okay, we'll talk. Liam gets angry if we don't give him some water. I'll be back. Hang on. Seamless, oh, okay, bye. transition. Uh, oh, that was fun. He, he was never seen <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah, thanks, Josh. It's just me now. Oh, He's right. stuck with me. Um, <laughs> I want to ask before we get into games. Um, so, do you, you start as an artist and then you got into like cinematics that way and then you became a writer as well or you started as a writer and then like, how did you do it? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> let's see. The short, the shortest, the shortest version of this is sure. that I've always liked writing, but I've also always liked animation right. uh, as a hobby. I happened to graduate from college the same summer that Jurassic Park came out. Uh, I was always really into special effects. Uh, I applied to this brand new animation master's program at the School of Cinema TV at uh, USC. Wow. I amazingly got in. I went there for two years, and then I worked in visual effects and feature animation for like seven-ish years before uh, finding my way to Naughty Dog. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, and then I started at Naughty Dog. Uh, there was... The team side so was I was like employee number thirty three. They were just starting to hire people sure. for like specific roles. Like it was very much a if you'll excuse the expression, jack of all trades kind of place where like <laughs> you would be a modeler and a texture artist and maybe a lighter and everybody would do a little yeah. bit of everything. That's, but which I is was a cool way to do it though, right? Like, this is yeah, cool. no, absolutely. And when you have a small team, it makes sense. Uh, but as they were starting to branch out and they wanted to get more into the uh, cinematic storytelling, they hired people specifically to do it because they knew they had like an hour's worth of stuff to do. Yeah. So I uh, started with that and then starting with Jack 2, I was uh, the cinematics lead. And then, hmm. uh, yeah, then again on, with the Uncharted games, I've always enjoyed writing. It's something I always did as a hobby. Yeah. It was not something that I sort of pursued partially just because coming out to Los Angeles, everybody in the world seemed to have a screenplay. Yeah, everybody's doing screenplay. It, it was, it was, and I was just like, uh, whatever. And sure. and then just opportunities came up, like uh, mm. on the Jack games. Uh, the creative director on those, Dan Airy, uh, mm. I'd ask him to read the scripts before we would animate them, and or and before he would record them, and it'd be like, you know, you could like. Uh, you could tighten this up here like what if you did this whatever yeah, wow. and um and so yeah when we started working on charted i just asked if i could be part of the development process and uh the fool said oh. yes and uh oh. then that <laughs> just sort of yes. and then that just sort of uh gradually uh continued into uh into sort of uh, moving into it uh, full time yeah just making the uh, defining games of like three consoles and, th good. and that's yeah, the, and that's the, <laughs> that's the, and that's the short version do you um, miss animation um it's funny, people ask me that, and the answer I always say is I miss the certainty of it. Sure. Like, Makes sense. I can look at something and be like, this is good animation, or like, or this is good enough. Or it's like, oh, this, the leg doesn't look right, or like, yeah. I'm not feeling the performance, or whatever. Whereas with writing, you're kind of like casting things out into the void a little bit. You have to sort of have, you have to have a little bit of faith. Uh, and then, you know, you're sort of like, you, you look at it on the page, it's like, oh, it seems okay. And then you give it to the yeah, actors. Yeah. And as an the actor, actors we are like, okay, oh, we feel that same yeah. way. Exactly. It's like, okay, well, this okay. This this might work. This might work. Then you actually put it into the game and edit it. It's like, okay, yeah, this might work. This might work. Yeah. But then, That's so and then true. it goes out to the world. Then and it goes then, out. And then the everyone world. judges so. it too when it comes out as well. Even yeah. if everyone's happy, oh, yeah. you can still drop yeah. it and everyone's like, this sucks. <laughs> but at least yeah. in your track record, you've yeah. nailed every single time. Yeah, that mustn't be terrible. <laughs> it's a pretty good. Uh, I'm going to read this. So did you just um, did you just like writing, Josh? Or did you have a background? Like, did you study writing or anything, or was it just animation? Yeah, I was a, I was a, uh, I was an English major in college, 
Oh, okay, great. I was an English major in college, <laughs> and you know, took took English uh, classes, creative writing classes, that kind of thing, and I took some screenwriting classes when I was at USC. And, ah, cool. uh, yeah, it's something it's something that I've enjoyed. It was for whatever reason not something I ever sort of pictured myself yes. doing as a career. I was kind of Jaded focused on it's kind of focused on the animation uh, aspect of it, yeah. and then uh, you know just gradually evolved into it. And I mean, I love what I'm doing, and it was nice. To, I think I think the most unusual uh, gift that I've been given is, which is just that I had the opportunity to do a total career change while staying at the same company. Yeah, which doesn't, yes. right. which, yeah. Just, which you know doesn't really happen too often. Um, so it's pretty cool though that they'd like be open to that and supportive of that as well in a movie. And but then that makes sense. It makes sense as a company, right, it, doesn't it? It's 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 been good that way. And the and the and the thing is though is uh, a lot of people ask how I got started and things like that and. I sort of have to say, like, well, this is how I did it, but this doesn't always, this is not necessarily yeah. a good way for you to do it because yeah. a lot of it was me being in the right place at the right time at a company of a certain size yeah. where, you know, somebody could make an impression on the people mm. who were uh, leading the projects uh, versus, like, if you go to some place like, that has like 500 or more people or something like that, it's not going to be the same thing. And chances are, Absolutely. if you want that job, you're going to just have to apply for it just like everybody else. Yeah. 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 And, uh, okay, it's holding. Come on. uh the uncharted bridges. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, why doesn't it work for him? Clearly uh. not built a code. <laughs> so this kind of, um, these, these small Pirate pieces, code. so it's outside of like the cinematic kind of um, cutscenes okay. and stuff, these small bits, how much of that is like fully written? How much of that is ad-libbed? No one ad-libbed. Um, no. Generally, <laughs> generally it's, so it all, it all comes, all of it kind of comes in stages. I mean, I can sort of like, uh, I can sort of like work back a little okay. bit. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. Would you mind turning the game down just a smidge? Oh, yes. oh, yeah. you could, my my you brain is kind that. of going like. <laughs> you can also do that yourself in um in the video call. <laughs> oh, yes. You hover over the window. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Button. I'm just yeah, going to be doing. It. I've dropped yeah. it like all the way low. Right. All right, Troy Nolan. No offense, but shh. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right, there we go. So you're ready. Uh, pull up, you're anyway, ready. okay, yeah, that's good. So, Drive uh, so, so generally, when we start, um, you know, we 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 never so we never like write a full script and then give it to the designers and say like, here, go make this because uh, neither can I. Games are if very making games is a very iterative process. Like, yeah. obviously, you're you're always trying to like find the best story and also find the best gameplay in Naughty Dog and. What's most important for us is yeah. that the two of them like uh, sort of harmonize with each other mm -hmm. as uh, much as humanly possible. So sometimes the story adjusts itself to support the gameplay, and sometimes the gameplay adjusts itself to support the story. Right. And you're, that's right. a, just a constant, ongoing process. Yeah. Um, so generally, when we start, we start with what we like to call the story macro, which is sort of like just the overall broad RG story. Oh, now you've done it. Oh. I was distracted oh. by your story. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, sorry. I jumped. Yeah, you're fucked. you're fucked now. You might as well start over. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, I've just been playing yeah, a lot the, of um, uh, Elden Ring, so I feel like that's true. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I have to start the whole <laughs> game again. Uh, it hates me. Why does died. it hate me so much? Yeah, um, sorry, continue. Oh, no, it's good. All good. Uh, but anyway, so... Oh, yeah, and that's generally like the broad... The broad story beats, the character beats, uh, trying to figure out where everything lands, just so that we have a roadmap of uh, where we want to go. Yeah. And then once that's at oh, least no, close switch. to solidified, we start writing the cutscenes. Because that's the stuff that uh, can work uh, independently of the gameplay to some oh, degree. Interesting. Like, and we can start, like, you know, level design doesn't necessarily have to be finished for us to start in the cutscenes. We just yeah. kind of have to know, okay, this scene's going to take place in a ballroom. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or what have you. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, and so we start there and sometimes we, and we, and the scenes that we write first generally are the ones where we try to sort of find the characters a little bit. Like, uh, yeah. like one of the, one of the very first scenes we wrote uh, is one of the scenes, uh, spoilers, when uh, the two of them make it to Libertalia and they sort of like find each other after being separated for a while. Right. Oh, really? And oh, sort yeah. of, Great and, scene. And, yeah, yeah exactly. so that's so that's like one of the, that was one of the first ones that we wrote. Uh, we also wrote uh, early on uh, the two of them at the uh, at the start of the auction where they're sort of like uh, spying on yeah, the uh, grounds cool. and like trying to figure out what's going oh, on. Yeah, Just sort yeah. of like trying to establish what their relationship okay. is. And oftentimes a lot of these early scenes that we write, we're also doing uh, as audition scenes for the actors. Oh yeah, cool. Um, cool. 
So like one of the uh, no one has to it's one of the early scenes that we hmm? no one yeah, so one of the early scenes we wrote was yeah. Uh, yeah he does he pulls it off though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it off. Uh, so one of the early scenes that we wrote was uh, the scene where uh, Sullivan uh, bumps into uh, Rafe at the uh, auction because we were uh, we were auditioning oh, yes. we were auditioning for Rafe. Yeah. So that was also trying to establish the relationship between those two. So that all kind of happens early in the process because it's not so dependent on the uh, level design or yeah. anything like that. Um, and then later, uh, once the levels are a lot more uh, fleshed out, um, so when level designers work, uh, they 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 make a version of the level first, what they call a block mesh or other places call it gray block. Yeah. And it's literally a version of the level that is cubes and spheres and cylinders and whatever things they can throw together really fast just to sort of okay. give an impression of what they want it to look like and they start okay. playing that mm. and they they play that so they can feel like like okay well i'm in here and i give it to somebody and they get completely lost okay so i need to have some kind of like clear marking point to say this is where you're supposed to go mm -hmm. or like okay. or like they're getting turned around too easily or or these enemies that we've put here, there's way too many. It's way too hard for this early in the game. And all you try to build as much of the game as yeah, possible yeah. in this state um, before you start doing all the beautiful artwork. So that if you're like, hey, you know what? This level is way too hard. Let's re let's refactor everything. And then it becomes much harder when the art is final to yeah. uh, do all that change. Yeah, sure. So yeah. So once the stuff is in that form, that's when we start talking about the dialogue that uh, happens in the levels here. Because then we'll sort of know, we'll sort of know partially what we need to be talking about. Uh, and when you're in the levels, uh, the gameplay dialogue tends to be a number of different tiers. There's going to be um, character building stuff, um, things that don't things that don't necessarily fit into a cutscene, or things that don't necessarily have this same kind of emotional impact yeah. or need yeah. as they would in a cutscene but are still things that we can use to sort of like help flesh out relationships between characters and uh, just sort of get a sense of who these people are. Mm -hmm. um, and then below that, there's also uh, sort of a, <laughs> sort of sort of a little bit, any little expositional things that we need to uh, get out, like, you know, yeah. Drake's, ah. like, Drake's like looking at something. It's like, boy, they must've built this like 300 years ago. And, uh, <laughs> and, sure. and, yeah. and, and, and so I was like, what are you talking about kid? Where's all the gold? And then like, you know, that, <laughs> and that, and that, you know, all that kind of stuff sort yeah, of like totally. uh, gets played out during the levels too. And then below that uh, comes the uh, gentle reminders of what the player is supposed to be doing. Next. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, little yeah, next, I guess you could What's exactly. this? How are you going on this? Uh, I am fine. You guys keep talking. I'll probably ask questions that I've not. That you, yep. Obviously, Liam, so, I assume this is going well. Yeah. This is going real well. Yeah. I'm on like the wrong yep. side. You just got to get those crosses into the lights. Nice. That's, you got it. Oh, I haven't, yeah, though. Yep. I haven't. Now that's no. going to move this. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, You're yeah. so close You're, as well. You're close, though. You're close. No. You're close. Um, and then there's also stuff like this where the puzzles are sometimes, you know, the puzzles get made at various points in the game. And uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes they're made early. Sometimes they're made later. Uh, but you know, we have yeah. to have some dialogue to support all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, sometimes it's saying like, "It made me try turning that thing over there, or whatever yeah. it is." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop and, being an uh, idiot, player. No, I mean, you got to yeah. other cross dude, the yeah. one on the yeah. left. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I just got to. Okay, this. I think this is. You're strong. almost there. You've strong, almost got it. This is strong choice. It's fun yeah. to watch their brain work. Oh, there we go. There you right. almost there. But now I got the whole problem here. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. this is, who designs yeah. these? So what close. kind of monster? Yeah. Animal. Okay, this was so Amelia Schatz, actually. I have. But so the. Have, uh, we'll have her on. I'll talk to her about this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's too but you're close, though. Use that. Use that really top good one. Puzzle. Too, I thought it was a great puzzle in the game. Oh yeah, you can. That's right. Yeah. You could use. I could. I yeah. could probably. Spin you sort of have to spin. You have to spin one off so you can spin the other yeah, one into place. Yeah, so true. There you go. Uh, um, but, oh, but now I'm gonna mess that up. Oh, but then it's a whole thing. <laughs> Uh, I, hey, I'm not good. I'm not a real Josh, Josh, will, Josh will finish the episode. You're doing so like, well. Get no, this wheel. Not, Don't give up, bro. See, no, You're never going to get to Madagascar at this rate. Nothing, <laughs> right? I'm really not. Yeah, no, I'm so sorry. We, we're just going to do Scotland. It. That's it. That's right. I want that to be there, and that's just stop. Just that's it. That's enough. I honestly didn't think puzzles would stump hey. them this much. Hey, you spin that's that not, one. That's you spin that one in. Oh, I see. Okay. See, like it's it's like it's a whole situation over here. Like, and then I can move that, but then it's going to move that. Ah, I've done it wrong. Okay. You um, almost had it we have like any... three moves ago. Have you, you any? I, I didn't though. You know what? I didn't. I didn't. Let's have not... you clocked any Definitely questions did. from the chat? 
um, going way back, Pagan? Um, uh, no. I had a question about yeah, the no. opening scene because to me that was one of those moments as an, as a performer at least where I was like, oh, games are better. That I, I just Games are cool now. Like just the way that <laughs> you were like, let's do a story where it starts with just retired Nate being retired and that's it. And it's kind of, it's like, memory. It's, it's, it's not the start of the other games where he's like waking up on the side of a mountain or something and he's like he's just waking up in his house yeah. <laughs> and you're like yeah, it's yeah, great yeah. It's, and I love it so much but it would have been such a brave choice to like go we're going to start the game like this guys I assume maybe it's, I'm wrong I, it was uh, part of what we were trying to do is yeah. you know obviously the, the first three games Nate is always sort of like starting back at square one yeah. like you know he, he goes for the treasure he yeah, doesn't he gets to the treasure realizes that the treasure is going to destroy the world let's go let's go to the treasure yeah sure. and so when we were so when we started this one uh we sort of realized that we had to we had to reestablish a new status quo for Nate because mm -hmm. uh, ordinarily it's sort of like, well, I'm down in my luck, but I'm going after this treasure again. But no, this is completely different. Yeah, and that's sure. kind of why we had some fun with that uh, dive sequence and very, very deliberately hiding where he was diving and what he was diving, diving for for a very long time <gasps> so that uh, I think you got it. it. I think you got it. Try pull the switch. Oh, don't so be the close, wrong way. So, Hang so, on. So no, you... it's not, is it? It's the yeah, wrong, yeah. The wrong white person. should be on the left. Dismiss. No Jack way. Thief. Why is the oh my good thief on the left? Oh, oh, why is the good thief the on their side? On oh no. I hate everything. Oh, I mean, no, 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 easy solve. Easy solve. Easy solve this time. You better. Easy solve. Better, right? better easy solve this time. I can loop these around. Okay, Sorry. you got this now. Okay, this is an easier now. solve. Oh this my is... god, you're a warrior. Look at you. I'm so happy that we got through this in the three hour stream that we have. This better yes. work. Don't kill Nate. That's got to be it. Don't kill him. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Here Don't we go. get murdered. A lot oh of bravery my here. Oh my god. He's not dead. Oof. He's not dead. Did you see? Walk away faster. Knees. Walk away faster. Yeah. Oh oh. Yes. All right. Carry on. I want to make sure before you leave this room, though. Pagan? Yes. What's oh, happening? Thanks. Once. Uh, uh, one set. There's a little. There's a little inside joke that some people oh. missed. So before you leave the room, coming back. Okay. See, there's a little journal prompt right there. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So, write in your journal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you have to open the journal. Okay. So now, oh. flip it to the flip it to the next page. No, you should be. Just, uh, flip it to the next page. Yeah. And again, one more time. Is that it? No, it should go again. Again. Yeah. Keep going. Go again. Hmm. Did you back, press back triangle to like write it? Did you push triangle? Oh, okay. Okay. So okay. Okay. Push. Oh, yeah, okay. You, you okay. need to write it. Okay. So push triangle. Okay. Here we go. All right. So I worked uh, <laughs> with one of our super talented uh, character concept artists, uh, Alex uh, Neonaki, on uh, the journal here, and one of these things was sort of. So and oftentimes, oftentimes I wouldn't give her much. I would just sort of like give her a prompt, mm. like. Uh, just and for this it was just sort of like you know what does it feel like to reach inside the hole so you know we have the little things and you'll notice there uh in the uh, lower right uh there is a wet, wet kitty mm. from oh, nolan's oh, no. nolan's little kitty got wet nice no so, way i love that yeah. so yeah that's just like amazing. a little yeah little throwaway reference to that oh, for that's you so good <laughs> that's so cool i didn't notice that before wow. yeah. that's amazing. No, i yeah. love that no, Alex, Alex is great. She came up with a lot of hilarious stuff for the uh, journal and also her drawings. So cool. And her drawings kick ass for that matter, too. So. I was going to yeah. say, is, are they all hers? Mm -hmm. All her yep. drawings? Oh, my yep, God. Yep. What a talent. Oh, yeah. Wow. No, she's great. So cool. um, okay, Megan, anyway, did you see Daniel Anthony's question early on? Just after um, Pictini's suit? I didn't. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm you, sorry. You'll have a better understanding of that reference if that's... What's your step? Oh. Uh, just, just before the soup? Uh, but just after Pictini's suit. I do love My the go um, down a bit. impotence of Nate's jumping in place. Just so we're all safe. <laughs> I just I love how he's Chuck, so you dynamic. Copy paste that into the video and and in the wrong time. spot. He's like, yeah. I can't see it. He's like, yeah. Well, again, that's a that's a design that's a design choice. We have to like make sure the player understands this is not what you're supposed to be doing yeah, absolutely, here. Absolutely. Yeah. Well. So. Hello. All right. I love. I just want to say I love the. Uh, level layout in this place and i yeah. can't remember who designed this but just like all the uh, basalt columns and open spaces oh. is really cool and spooky that's the thing. like it came in like 
When was Ki- when was Crystal Skull released? Not to rain on that, but like it just came at such a good time for me where I was just like, you can make a better Indiana Jones than Indiana Jones. Okay, I'm yeah. listening. Um, it's just so exciting. Uh, 2008. So yeah. it was actually uh, okay. it was actually after the first yeah. game had released. Um, and it's funny. I remember I went. Uh, a bunch of us from work went to see uh, Indiana Jones and the King of Crystal Skull. Like, like we, we went to a matinee, mm. and there were these uh, teenagers sitting in front of us, and one of them had like a fedora on, and the they were very, very clearly fans. Yeah. And and they were talking, and uh, at one point, one of them was was saying like blah 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 Uncharted blah 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 blah. blah. Wow. So all of a sudden, all of us wow. are sitting there, and our our, mm-hmm. our ears perked up, yeah. and they were sort of talking about themselves and. Finally, one of our uh, one of our oh, concept yeah, yeah, artists yeah. at the time, this guy, uh, Shaddy Shafati, like reached over. He's like, "Oh, you guys played Uncharted?" He's like, "Oh yeah, yeah." And <laughs> the first game had just come out, so everybody were very subtly and sometimes not so subtly starting to uh, pepper them with questions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, oh, yeah. what, what did you think of this? What did you think of that? Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and after a while, the uh, teenagers like, "Did you guys like work on it or something?" And we're like, "Yeah, okay, yeah, we can." We <laughs> oh, that and then a trip. And then uh, and then the movie movie played and then the movie ended and uh we asked uh the guy with the door is like so what did you think and he was sort of like <sighs> <laughs> and that was about it uh, just a sigh i remember so, enjoying it what's up do you think we can turn his vocals down i don't know let's um, try that that's a question for Options. someone that works at the company um, there you go. Audio. We can, audio? If you go to um, audio, audio. Version, I don't think it's dialogue. Dialogue. Yeah. His dialogue yeah. is very. It's you, very how much you would think? Oh. Love 15? Nolan. I mean, I, I, I fifteen you know, could be good. Fourteen. Take maybe. a leap. I love maybe. Nolan, but yeah. Um, so yeah, 15, 15, 14. 14. 14. 5. Yeah, I can't, I can't do that. that. You have to, that's, that's, that's again, good. you need a PlayStation 5 for that kind of stuff. And I know had, we have uh, one. had previously yeah, asked Josh. One, but... <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yep. Uh, someone had previously asked Josh, what was it like to work for um, both Straley and Druckmann as directors? And did they have different styles? And how was it? Um, do you want to answer that question? Is that okay to answer? That's fine. Because I know yeah, Bruce no... left after the project. Oh, yeah. No, uh, I mean, oh, yeah. they, were co- they were co-directors in the game. So it wasn't oh, like I was yeah. working for one and the other. It was like both of them. And uh, oh, they, I see, I see. Yeah, and they, you know, uh, the difference is that uh, Neil was the creative like director it, and uh, Bruce was the uh, game director. So Neil oh, oversaw mm-hmm. everything having to do with the uh, story and uh, everything connected with that. And then uh, Bruce oversaw everything with the uh, actual game and also uh, the uh, art direction, because Bruce is also, among other things, a really talented uh, artist and has a really good eye. And the two of them sort of separated those things out into their purviews, but they were constantly talking with uh, one another uh, every single day and uh, sort of like gut checking each other and uh, just trying to sort of like make sure everything was uh, staying on track. Uh, so, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. And, you know, it was, it, it was, it was a great experience and, you know, the, and, uh, and, you know, t- sometimes in the story rooms or sometimes or everywhere else, you know, there would be like, you know, uh, so we say like uh, lively discussions about things, but that's, <laughs> sure. but that's, but that's just the nature of the, that's just the nature of the creative process with uh, anybody. Yeah, like otherwise. people are, people are, people have their own ideas, people have their own visions and you all sort of like want to come together and find the thing that's best. Mm. Okay. So this scene right here, mm. oh, yeah. this scene is a uh, classic uh, uncharted uh, eavesdropping on the villain scene. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes. um, and, uh, and I mean, we have to do this because one of the things that we are always trying to do in the Uncharted games is uh, to always stay by the side of the main character. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so so in order to do that, if you're ever going to have a scene where you can like hear the villains plotting and scheming and getting any hope of adding some depth to the uh, villains in these games, then you got to have some kind of eavesdroppy scene. Yeah. Uh, we but it's, did. An, it's a great... Um, intensity element too like it adds that pressure of like oh don't hear don't make any noise you know we're just on the other wall yeah it serves both and yeah and i mean we did actually break that rule in this game uh for the first time uh back at the auction like there's a bit where Uh, nate's climbing around and then it cuts back to sully in there because we needed the chance to introduce uh nadine and also uh, bring uh, rafe back into the picture and for that from my from my standpoint that worked because it was a very much sort of a, a heist movie ish kind of sequence where you need to see what everybody's doing a little bit of all the time yeah. but it's also sully but, so you kind of feel like, yeah. i don't know i feel like they're so well connected I, it never occurred to me exactly that, that wasn't normal like it didn't feel like oh, exactly that's the first time they've done this 
Exactly, but we're never going to sort of like have Nate say like, okay, we need to do this and then cut to, you know, the Death Star or whatever. And like, right, right. Darth, Darth Although Vader I'd saying, love like, to see that if you make another one. I'm, yeah, I'm exactly. <laughs> that. Um, like, a crossover needs to happen. And then, coming, uh, and then coming back, it always has to be sort of like tangibly within the world here. And, uh, yeah. It's a great scene, though, to be fair. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Laura's great. Warren yeah. Warren was kind of our discovery for the game. Uh, oh, wow. We auditioned. We, I mean, I shouldn't say our discovery. He'd been doing plenty of acting before. <laughs> I just mean we uh, we were auditioning a whole bunch of folks for the uh, for the Rafe part. And, and you know, we all had our own ideas of what he was going to be. I had sort of pictured him as, like, the uh, an evil version of, like, uh, the Winklevoss twins. Or, <laughs> right, or, okay. or, uh-huh. or, or more evil, depending how we feel about them. <laughs> and so, and so, yeah, I was always, I was always kind of picturing like this, like big guy kind of jock and whatever. Mm. And then Warren comes in, and he's this slippery snake, oily uh, guy with a chip on his shoulder the size mm. of Nebraska. And we're just like, mm. okay, yeah, you know what? That's that's good. This this works. Mm. You know, yeah, here's yeah, a guy yeah. who has everything, but he's still got. Uh, a deranged yeah. version of uh, imposter syndrome. Yeah, <laughs> so, no, totally. right. but, that's, that, but that's great. That's really interesting. Yeah. You know, I'm so angry. I'm going to fling the maps off the table. <laughs> so, acting 101, yeah. baby. That's it's what you do. Yeah, it's, a, it's um, a tangible yeah. acting. Right, so Gizmo's, yeah. Gizmo had a good question from the chat, too. And, and I mean, it's always it's, it's always difficult asking a creative this, but do you, do you have a favorite? Josh. I was about to ask that. Question. Oh, were you? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> Not favorite, but like, you know, like something with a sense of, like, what was the most exciting to work? You know, I mean, there's ways to ask that without going, who's your favorite child? Um, <laughs> do I have a do I have a favorite uh, game in the series, you mean? Yeah, or yeah. Uh, yeah, well, what did or, you or character? Or? What, what do you mean? No, it, it, it was game. That That's what, that's what, um, and you've opened up to so much more. Gizmo had asked in the chat, right. he said, what was your favorite, what game are you, well, technically said, what game are you most proud of? Ooh, oh, boy. Jesus oh, that's it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I that's kept trying good. to give I feel you an like that could be an answer. It's not that I'm, favorite, right? It's that's like, that's good. that's hard. Yeah. Um, mm. I'm proud of this one simply because it was my first full time writing sure. job on yeah, game, awesome. and I didn't really fuck it up. So that was yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> that, that was that was that was one thing. Um, I think it's hard to say which was my favorite to work on, but. Um, despite the fact that it was incredibly hard, uh, Uncharted 2 actually still <laughs> uh, holds a soft spot because sure. kind of like I was saying earlier, we were taking all the stuff that we were excited about in Uncharted 1 that, that ran out of time to actually do. You need to go get yourself a crate, my friend. Oh. <laughs> we, are, we, are, we, are, we are at that point. Yeah. Um, and it was just one of those things we were all so excited about the potential of what we were doing that we were just like fire. It just felt like we were sort of firing on all cylinders and like finally realizing. But even even within that, you know, we were we were excited about it, but yeah, we had cool. no idea how people were going to respond to it. Um, yeah. And so when we um, and so when we had that uh, E3 demo uh, where yeah. Evan got up there and played the uh, collapsing building sequence and the response from that, we were like, oh shit okay people seem to like this cool and then uh probably probably one of my favorite parts of that whole thing was like in this is 2009 so in the days before twitch in the days before streamers really uh sony arranged these whole things that they called uh, cinema events where in several key cities around the country they actually set up uh, Uncharted 2 multiplayer tournaments on a giant movie screen. Oh, cool. And and everybody competed to win a limited edition thing of the game. Uh, But we also played sequences from the game. Um, And sitting in a movie theater and watching these audiences who had never seen the game before react to portions of the game live was just... That, that still is like one of the absolute highlights yeah, of yeah. my entire career. Can't it was it was just that. really really exciting. This is really exciting. Yeah, and that's awesome. Yeah. Where are you going? Yeah. Right? So, oh, you just, I'm just okay. That's one. I did. I <laughs> going down what? apparently. Yeah. Going down. So to be fair, in my defense, I just wanted to see if that was animated correctly um <laughs> yeah yeah you're just testing you. animation there's, level yeah it's pretty, it's pretty good yeah, yeah. are you sure you've got to go Thank down you. yeah it's, you see the slightly off-colored rocks yes yeah, well there's also obvious yeah there's a secret out yeah. of here isn't there there's got to be there's got to be a collectible I remember <clears throat> is there not <clears throat> I there like... is one you're basically trying to get to a little nook that has a uh 
a box. Yeah, that has something that has a little box that you can what play. What does oh, that look like? Oh. Death. <laughs> oh. Get your head on the ceiling, apparently. You swung too high. Oh, yeah, yeah, like Icarus. Too close to the sun, friend. Like Icarus. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah you got to like you got to swing between the little gap there and then yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Right. Or something. Those crackers are so good. Go. When They're he really reaches, good. you can jump. Yeah. I know. I thought he was reaching, but he didn't. He didn't reach. There was no reaching. Right. Okay. Don't die. But, uh, back to, oh. back to the. Oh. There you go. All right. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. So but back right. to the Sorry. other question in terms of like favorite character. That's also diff difficult to say, but I yeah. always he's have so a soft funny. spot in my heart for Sullivan. Oh, he's, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. So he's he's he's, he's, right, he's a lot of fun to write. Uh, love working with Richard. Um, yeah. Uh, so well, yeah, having him on was amazing. We he had Richard some stories on. like crazy. So so for a long time. We were, when we finished Uncharted 4, before, or even before we finished it, we were talking about what originally the DLC, it was originally going to be a DLC until it turned into a full game of The Lost Legacy. But yeah. uh, some of the uh, very early explorations uh, that we did were a mm. uh, Sully game, like a uh, oh, like wow. a young Sully game. And uh, we ended up uh, ended up going in a different direction for a number of different reasons, uh, yeah. not the least of which was um, just... Okay. We were sort of st we got stuck at one point on the Sully story. It was like, oh, well, let's try something completely different. Let's try something with Chloe, and then the Chloe story just sort of like took off uh, like gangbusters. They're like, you know what? Okay, let's let's do this. I told you there was um, something. Mm -hmm. and I was gonna say, say like, you found it. Yep, yep, there you go. I told there you. Go. you. Who designs um, these? How do you oh no, not down. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, boo. Boo. Uh, the, That's one way to get back. Yeah, the level the uh, level designers work with the uh, environment artists to sort of like try to figure out uh, good places to uh, hide these little things. <laughs> so great. So, so um, you gotta go. Oh here, no! Ah, oh, come on. You have to do it again. Can, yeah. Boo. Sorry, boo. Love this it's because he died. He, he didn't it's love the, the box. It's, yes, awesome. I know. Right. I know. Yeah, yep. he needs to go do it again. There <laughs> get to the all right. That's all right. At least they got the collectible. Um, it's all worth it. Sully's a good character, though. Sully is a fantastic character, and I have yeah. to say, I love, um, I loved that you guys did uh, the Lost Legacy. <laughs> a story with Chloe and Nadine is just so wonderful. What a game! Yeah, thank you. What a it game. was. Beautiful. It was. It was. It was a lot of fun working with uh, working with Shauna Sky on that was, uh, and mm. Kurt were great, and it was also. We also sort of realized, like, well, you know, this might be the last Uncharted game, so let's yeah, make sure we well, go out with a bang. Yeah. So that's sure. why. So that's why you have that like last level that is we referred to uh we referred to the last level with the train and the jeep and everything else like that we called that internally uncharted's greatest hits and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, like, Actually, yeah that makes sense yeah just yeah, like throw, yeah. just like throwing every everything together all at once and um yeah, and it was just, and it was just a lot of fun uh working on the uh dynamic with uh with uh, uh chloe and uh, chloe and Nadine was also yeah, really cool. interesting so and nice. And it was also an opportunity for us to start trying to expand our uh, storytelling chops into things that weren't like as uh, relentlessly uh, linear as a lot of our earlier games. And uh, see a little bit of that uh, starting in this game, uh, starting on the Madagascar chapter, and then also at mm -hmm. the uh, in the uh, at sea chapter, where we're trying to uh, find places to uh, let the player explore more and sort of uh, react accordingly. Yeah. So uh, the yeah, challenge with that. Yeah. So good. Oh, sorry. I was just saying the part of the part of the challenge with open world games um, is that it's really, really difficult to maintain a, a certain a, a sense of urgency. Yeah. Uh, that's, so, that like, is the biggest challenge. I so, think. and that's a, lo a large part of the reason why we generally haven't uh, gone that way. And so, because you know, you have Uncharted Two, which is like this nonstop roller coaster, and mm -hmm. you have Uncharted Four, where we have like some lulls and things like that. And mm -hmm. so when, in terms of like deciding where and when we were going to do it, we chose the chapters where it felt like the urgency could be dialed down. So the Madagascar chapter is uh, Nate and Sully and Sam all hanging out together for like the first time in probably decades and sort yeah. of like rediscovering that relationship and allowing that to build. Yeah. And then uh, the other chapter at sea after, uh, you know, Elena catches up with them and uh, informs Nate that he is in fact a gargantuan asshole, and uh, <laughs> Nate's starting to uh, and uh, Nate it's is sort of starting to kind of question like just what exactly it is he's doing there. So he is like sort of mentally at sea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and here's this chapter, yeah. and here's this chapter where you are sort of like literally wandering around trying to find uh, the way forward. So just sort of uh, trying to 
get that emotional sense uh, into the uh, game that you're uh, playing as well. Is that ever um, hard to write though? Because like Elena is such a beloved character, mm -hmm. and I think like when essentially they have that um, not an altercation, but you know, like they have the confrontation in the hotel room, and even Sully is like, "Nate, go after her," and he's like, "Yeah, you care about it so much, you go after her." Like, is that hard to write? Because you're just like, God, I love Elena so much. Like, I don't want them to ruin their marriage over this. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, they, you know, have a, they have a nice come together, like, um, that was, towards the that was one of the hardest like, scenes. To, that was one of the hardest scenes to write. And like, uh, you know, Neil, Neil did the heavy lifting on that scene. And okay. it was one of the, the way, the way that we wrote tended to be like, you know, we'd each, there'd be some scenes I would start and there'd be some scenes he would start and we'd sort of, We'd sort of like hand them back and forth and you know we'd change some lines and change some other lines yeah, yeah. and uh and then we'd sort of like sit down and talk about it for a little bit and uh eventually usually as we were getting closer to uh, the day that we sent the uh, script out to the actors uh we'd sort of sit down and if need be just sort of like okay read it together go line by line mm. and sort of like throw out some ideas yeah. and then once the scripts were locked uh quote unquote yeah that's when we would like take it to the rehearsals and once we were in the rehearsals uh going back to your question forever ago about improvisation yeah. you know we would we would read everything with the actors and you know the actors particularly like nolan and emily and richard who have been inhabiting these characters for the better part of a decade you yeah. know they would mm -hmm. they would put their two cents in and we'd yeah. talk about it and we'd change lines accordingly we'd That's add cool. or subtract whatnot and then on the day of the shoot itself um sometimes we'd sort of be doing things and we'd feel it out and be like well you know what this isn't really working the way i expected it to and right. then yeah. So it's just it's it's a con it's the things were sort of constantly being revised. We never wanted to be like, no, you're going to say this words exactly. And then, of course, mm -hmm. as far as the uh, improvisation goes, uh, here you're supposed to start jumping around yeah, and climbing on gears and oh, stuff. Yeah. There you go. I, I, I think. Um, yeah. yeah, he's going to have to. There you go. There you go. Uh, so, and there's also other times that you know, you know, Nolan sometimes will like throw some stuff in, like. This was a gameplay dialogue, not a cutscene. But um, yeah. in the auction, when uh, they're in the uh, they're in the basement of the uh, trying to trying to get through, and they go into the uh, wine cellar, and they have to they don't have a light source because they have like lights as lighter. And oh, yeah. uh, so I I had written the lines like, you see, this is why it's always good to bring a smoker along. And then Nolan just sort of offhandedly added, unless you have to run. And it was like, it was like we're keeping that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, we're keeping that. Yeah, we're keeping that. That's cool. Uh, um, but so then sometimes, oh, sorry. Yeah. No, no, go ahead. I'll uh, move on to a different topic once we're okay. finished this one here. And yeah. then, yeah, and then sometimes we just encourage a lot more. It's just sort of like freeform, feeling it out a little bit. So the scene where uh, Nate and Elena are sitting on the couch, uh, leading up to uh, the Crash Bandicoot bit. Mm -hmm. um, Which I failed miserably. We we had a script. It's impossible to win the first time. Elena always wins. Yes. By the way. Uh, um, no, don't we, don't take the hope away from us, Josh. It is possible to win. So the many of us restarting that encounter. Yeah. We're like, I've uh, got this. Spoilers, but it is possible to win the second time you play. Yeah, no, I was. Uh, I, there was no risk of it happening with me. I was yeah. like, I've played this game a lot, and I've lost all of the skill that it comes with playing yeah. this game. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, so with we had a script, and you know, no, for uh, Nolan and Emily, but they sort of like just sort of put their own spin on the line sort of like try to make it feel a little bit more casual and relaxed mm. and uh and it, and it worked really really well uh for that scene uh yeah. and you know we we got a number of different takes uh oh yeah that was another one of nolan's improvs uh that was another one of the it it was something like oh yeah i pulled a 20th century truck out of the river and uh, I think he threw in uh, the natives call it a semi or something like that. <laughs> so, so, oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of good improv that happens. Uh, sometimes the only times we can't really improv is if we are trying to get those sort of like informational, mm. help the player out kind of things. Yeah. But uh, most of the time, we just want to like make sure. Yeah, totally. and, you know, let, let you know we really want the actors to like inhabit these characters and make them their own uh, as much as humanly possible. Yeah. Um, right. So, yeah. what were we gonna ask, Pagan? Did you have one from chat? Because I just found oh, another yeah. one. But there is. Yeah, there's two here from chat. So uh, we have one from Trio and one from Jake Brown. But Trio has asked, Josh Sharp, do you have any info on the crane sequence that was deleted from Scotland, which I think we'd mentioned previously off camera. Do uh, I have any information was... about the crane sequence that was deleted from Scotland? I do. There was this crane sequence. 
and we deleted <laughs> it. Was it was deleted. No. <laughs> uh, no, I think uh, yeah, we're going to be we're, we're going to be getting to that pretty soon, uh, ish. Uh, in I fact, think it's you overestimate prob- me. Uh, uh, we'll no, this I'll say I'll say I'll say it's within the, I'll say it's within the next uh, fifteen minutes or All so. Right, but, cool. uh, yeah, I agree. Okay. So, so yeah. Um, Part of part of the thing about Uncharted Four because it was kind of like Nathan Drake's last hurrah. We wanted to like make sure we like went out with a bang, so we were putting in all kinds of cool ideas and stuff. But then you know, eventually the realities of uh, linear time kind of uh, caught up with us, and uh, we started having to uh, make some choices as to uh, what we were going to keep in the game and what we were not. Excuse me, going to keep in the game. And there's a part here where Sam and uh, Nate are coming out of this pit. Oh, I'm just going to say right now, the first time I saw this with Nadine like backlit and the light, light streaming through, this was like, you could not do that on the PlayStation 3 yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we were all like, oh my god, this looks so good. Anyway. Um, it is fantastic though. Okay. Uh, so we had this whole sequence uh, where there's a crane in the cathedral and the crane was designed. Uh, the crane was there because Rafe and Nadine were like knocking shit down, trying to get to the treasure or whatever. And the idea was you come out of this pit and the crane's hook is sort of like hanging down. And so you climb up on this thing and uh, as you're climbing up on it, the crane operator sees you and starts just swinging you around on it. And yeah. you know, it's got the wrecking ball down below. It is swinging you through, swinging through walls. It's like breaking all kinds of stuff. And you shoot the crane operator, the crane operator because this is what happens when you shoot crane operators slumps onto the controls and the whole crane starts crane crane starts starts moving and nate says oh crap and the thing starts to tumble into the hole and it's balancing there precariously and you're trying to get off the crane before it all falls in and we had gotten probably like halfway into the production of it and we were looking at the schedule and we were looking at everything and we realized, well, we can either have this crane sequence or we can have a, a really good final boss encounter thing at the end. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. obviously, and obviously, uh, the latter uh, won out. Uh, mm-hmm. And we all, we never want to cut something that's that far along. Um, and it was just kind of like something that we realized we had to do. Uh, We've gotten a lot better about uh, sort of uh, recognizing these things a lot sooner. There are a lot of things that were cut from Lost Legacy and uh, The Last of Us Two that we caught well before. Okay. Uh, well before uh, got we had gotten stage. very far along yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was an entire there was an entire sequence in T two where uh, Ellie went to uh, Scar Island uh, before getting to the aquarium, and that and that was that was cut before Whoa. any real any real work had been done on it. We were just like, you know what, this is going to slow down the pacing. This is not going to yeah. <clears throat> really add too much to the story. And so it was like, Phew. so before anything had really been done too much on it. Um, can we hear this? This one, this one was definitely this one was Josh. definitely a hard cut. Oh, you can hear Josh. Oh really? Oh, sorry, I, I can. I, oh I, I sorry. It's just me. I didn't want to like make a big deal. Okay. Is that me? Is that something I did? Oh well, that's a shame. whoopsie. I was jumping nonstop then. <laughs> if you just um, if you can, so don't meet him in the control center, but you can just hover over Josh's camera or face, right. and you can see the volume button if you mute right. that. This, this, I'm jumping up here. Jumping oh, just just, just on the. Get that. Yeah, yeah just in Video there. Ninja, but don't mute him for the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, I've got him muted there. Oh, okay. So you shouldn't hey, so be hearing him twice. Another thing that's popped up down the bottom here, what's that? Um, is that another... Is that, that's not a Lana, is it? Or is it Ringo? No, no, that's you on your phone. That's oh. me on my phone. Oh, give me the... Give me the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> As I was start shooting people. Yeah. There's super shoot, technical shoot, shoot, shoot. stream here, Josh. Yep, is yep. that coming? Is the sound of this game coming through Tinny for you, or just my? I can, I can basically not hear it, so I wasn't. Really it's only it. just it's just through this one, uh, Todd. Just oh, okay. through Video Ninja. It's not coming through Tinny uh, on here, the. Sam, up here, up here. Yep. Sam, where are we going? And if I want to turn the game sound down to go, out go to my to ear, Pagan. So when Josh is talking, sometimes this is too loud. How do I turn yeah. that down? But it doesn't change the stream. On your phone. Oh on your phone <laughs> yeah just just change the audio down on the actual gameplay so if you click on the game you see the volume button drop it down that's why you can hear him twice you're 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 dropping him down on your desktop but not on your phone you're on your phone. see i've got no volume bar on my phone though it just says mute or unmute 
<laughs> for yeah, for yeah, mute or unmute for his stream, right? For the actual for your game. I know it means the game sound is too loud in spot, my mate. ears. Good. Can I text right, you on WhatsApp? Alright, there we go. Yeah, All sorry. Right, this is great. Sorry, Josh. Uh, the other yeah, question sorry. we had here, um, you can go ahead and answer this one, is from Jake Brown, and he said, Is there any particular scene that you would like to go back and rewrite? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, no, that's good. No. Oh, I mean, okay. Well, that's I think, great. I mean, I'd have to, I have, I'd have to really think about that one. But uh, yeah, no, every I single think. Scene off the top of your head, I, suppose. I mean, I feel like. Well, actually, the scene that happens at the end of uh, the uh, Scotland sequence, where they're all sitting in the airplane. Um, it's a fairly heavy. It's a fairly heavy expositional scene. It's doing a lot of heavy lifting for like uh, getting a lot of the uh, getting a lot of the uh, sort of the details of the Henry Avery, yeah. Avery uh, treasure hunt. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, the scene is a lot of exposition and not as much character stuff. So I feel like if there was maybe a way that we could have done it with less exposition, but it just happened to be something that we wrote early and something that uh, we wrote as we were still sort of hashing out the details of certain things. So. Maybe you could go back and do that, but really, I think um, you're in a good spot. If yeah. You're sort of like, oh, there's that one scene where you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. pretty. That's a pretty solid. Episode. Yeah, there's yeah. I'd have to. I'd have. Though. I'd have to. I'd have to think about it. I mean, you know, if I really went back and like looked at some of the earlier drafts of some of the scripts, I'd be like, oh, it's too bad we had to cut that line, but it didn't fit in somewhere. Yeah. Um, you know, I think. I think really a lot of uh, a lot of the stuff when. Um, you're sort of like looking at when you're looking at the game that's already shipped it's just like little tiny niggly things that uh you wish you had time to address whether they were bugs or things that didn't quite yeah. make or maybe or little bits of dialogue that just didn't fit into the space of a level uh all that kind of stuff but it's crazy to me honestly yeah. yeah honestly most if i did have problems uh that my brain is like completely ejected them <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, they could, um, I the so, so they can move on with my life <laughs> yeah totally but uh, well, that's like i know but, from like from gears and like lesser to a lesser extent point order was like just that bug crunching mode where you're really like prioritizing i guess depending yep. on how how it's going for you like yeah we've got, we've got a ship at x day and we have these issues and you gotta yep. you just gotta make it work oh i gotta get behind yeah. that cover I mean, I know one thing that a lot of uh, a number of folks feel is that uh, we wish we had like made the Scotland level actually a bit smaller. Right. Um, so that was part of the reason that uh, that was part of the reason why we cut the crane uh, from the sequence is that uh, it's just a massive, massive level, and there's a lot of really cool stuff in it. But maybe there would have been ways to either like tighten it up a little bit or whatnot, so you could start getting more into the uh, meat of the game. But you know, I know. Um, I know one thing. To, one uh, critic, one kind of criticism of Uncharted Four is that, like, unlike the uh, previous games, it uh, takes it takes a while to get going. Yeah. And uh, I, I but totally, design, I totally right? hear those. Uh, partially, I, I mean, I totally hear those. I totally hear those criticisms. Um, the thing that we were trying to do, part of the reason why it, um, part of the reason why it does take a little while to get going, is that we were essentially introducing Sam. Yeah. Like sure. we needed, we needed enough screen time with Sam to really sort of reintroduce uh, the characters to each other, but also introduce Sam to uh, the uh, players so that mm -hmm. you could like develop whatever feelings you had about Sam uh, throughout the course of the yeah, game totally. and just like really establish those relationships. Um, and so, and also like what we were saying earlier, a lot of it too is establishing uh, Nathan Drake's new status quo of, yeah, totally. uh, try of trying to go legit and uh, how he feels about that. And uh, just sort of like trying to show everything that he had to lose, and it just and it just took a while. Um, and you know, I know people, I know people who play the game say like, yeah, generally I play the first chapters and then I skip straight to Scotland or whatever. And it's like, okay, that's fine. You're missing the, yeah. you're missing a uh, one of my one of my favorite levels in the game. I I love the uh, I love the auction heist level. That's great. Um, yeah. I think I think it's a lot of fun, and that was actually one of the most fun parts to write. It just was really like. Was it fun to write a different uh, style of game where it's like it is a heist movie for a while? A little bit, yeah. And it, it had that sort of had that sort of like vaguely uh, charade slash Ocean's Eleven style yeah. Yeah, 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 feel totally. feel to it, and it just, and it just sort of like was a lot of fun, and uh, just uh, oh. and just like trying to whoopsie. <laughs> I got too excited about getting Ow. slapped. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's okay. Sorry. Yeah. It happens. But um, 
Yeah. So whereas you know, in, whereas in Scotland, you know, you've got some interesting. You have some interesting bits happening with like uh, the puzzles, and you also have uh, you know, the part where they're sort of like looking through the graveyard and uh, other number of things. Uh, but yeah, probably could have made the level a little bit smaller oh. to improve the pacing. But but it was one of those things where like it's sometimes it's hard to tell how long certain parts of the games are going to be uh, at when you're making mm -hmm. them until you actually have everything sort of assembled together mm -hmm. and playing through it. And, um, you know, a lot of the times, you know, games press uh, people uh, like to ask uh, developers like, oh, so how long does it take to play through your game? And a lot of the reason why they're very cagey about that uh, is because they honestly sometimes don't know uh, yeah, because yeah. they're <laughs> because they're still in a phase of development. Yeah, and you know you can always through the game, or is it someone who can play? Yes, the game through the game? and you know right, you can say right. it's going to take X number of hours, but you know did it you really get, depend, did depends. Depends on the player. Oh, there's the crane. There's the crane. Oh, yeah, there's the crane right there. There it is. There's the crane sitting right there. Sitting right there, not doing anything. Oh, cool. A bit of a sore point there, just because it was so far along. No. Okay. I mean, it's so well rendered. You like it's just so. It's got so many moving. So cool though. Um. Did you have much say, Josh, in the casting elements as far as like input on a on a you know obviously working with the studio itself? But who sort of who sort of had was it a collaborative thing with with selecting the cast? Todd's really asking who's he have to speak to oh, about? Uh, yeah, who, <laughs> I was going to say like really this is Todd's roundabout and, way of and being you, like. And, you, and do you have their contact? do you have their contact information? Yeah, probably. probably yeah. And, you know, yeah. So uh, wines favorite, and yeah. things like that. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, we have. Um, you know, Neil made the final call on all these things, sure. but okay. uh, and the auditions. Uh, there, there, there's, there are several of us in the auditions. I went to the auditions as well as Neil. Uh, we had uh, Becky Dodd, who was kind of our casting director, and she would be the one who uh, would sort of come up with a sort of an initial list and ideas mm -hmm. for certain oh, yeah. people, and yeah. uh, re and reach out to them and do all the legwork there. Um, and uh, Evan often Evan Wells, uh, company president, often came to uh, the oh, auditions as well. Okay, yep, you I was keep like, it's, a, it's a thing. Yeah. Maybe there's a secret down here, yeah. or death. The yep. secret is death. Yeah. The secret is death. Whoop, <laughs> here comes Sullivan. Jump over it. Um, it. Yeah. So, so it was a collaborative process, and, and ultimately, uh, Neil made the final call. Um, okay. And uh, there'd be a few times we did callbacks a couple of times just to like uh, check for uh, chemistry and reads and such. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. But, uh, I was gonna ask if it's if it's different at all, like from like TV and film casting. We all like well nowadays it's a self tape. So you put yourself on self tape, and then you kind of you can get called into the room depending on wherever they are. Um, is that is that kind of the same for video games as well? Do you do you offer a self tape, or is it like immediately like the auditions are all in the room? Post COVID, we've been doing some self tape stuff. Oh yeah, um, okay. For uh, but uh, prior to that, uh, we always like had stuff of uh, people in the room because a lot of it, uh, particularly early on in the Uncharted series, um, you know, we were brand new to mocap. Uh, you know, a lot of actors were brand new to mocap. You were and, the first, weren't you, in terms of the kind of things you were going for? Mm -hmm. um, we were, we were, we were, we were early. We were early. Uh, yeah. Like there was, there were a few other, there were a few nice, nice jump. Yeah. Uh, there were a few. Uh, there are a few other companies that were doing stuff like uh, Ninja Theory with uh, Heavenly oh, yeah. Sword mm -hmm. and their stuff. Yes, uh, yeah. uh, I think David Cage's games were using some mocap. Uh, there are some other early stuff yeah. being done. Um, but one thing that um, one thing that was super important to us, like apart from like just cast chemistry, oh. was that we really wanted to do what uh, a lot of the feature film work was doing, which was to try to. Uh, record both the audio and the mocap at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, which I mean, I sounds thing. totally obvious, yeah, but no, it actually, hard. but it actually wasn't early on. And in fact, we couldn't do that on the first Uncharted game because really? the mocap oh. stage, you know, the mo the, the mocap stage that we were using, uh, as a moves, uh, did not have a soundproof uh, stage. Huh. Um, and huh. so what we did was is we recorded everything. And we like chose the line reads that we liked, and we still edited it together as normal. But then all the actors uh, did ADR to uh, sort of uh, try to match afterwards. Wow. But we only did that for the first game. Wow. And as soon as we realized that we wanted to like move forward, uh, we ended up working with House and Moves, and they built a new uh, mocap stage that was conducive to audio recording. And that's when we started like doing the little mics on the uh, mocap on the mocap hats and things like that. But even for the first three Uncharted games. Um, we did not do uh, facial capture um, because 
Facial yeah. yeah. capture at the time was still uh, mm. at fairly early on in its uh, process. Uh, a lot of the tools and stuff were not great yet. And people were getting some decent results, but at the time we just didn't feel like it was worth the extra time and effort and everything because we happened to have a stable of really excellent animators who were able to uh, you know, animate the faces uh, fairly yeah. well. But then with Uncharted 4, um, some of the early stuff I was helping with uh, before moving full-time to writing was mm -hmm. trying to start developing our early uh, facial capture pipeline. Uh, and that's ultimately what we used uh, going forward. Uh, you can jump into the water. That's what oh, you're good. supposed All to right. do. Yeah. 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 Like, I was like, <laughs> but I've had so many folks. Yeah. Know, there you go. This is a weird you're going to like, But like something, such a simple thing. But even though I always think about like the small points that get added in, like those little explosive crates back there. Like, yeah. Who, mm -hmm. who, who throws that? Like, I know it's a small element, but who goes, hey, put a fucking crate there you, that just blows apart if you hit it. Like, do you just throw that in <laughs> when you're in through the process or does someone else? Uh, a lot of that, winging it? eventually, yeah. it's, yeah, it's eventually just down to the, uh, it's just down to the level designers a lot of times. Mm. Right, and sometimes, okay. sometimes we play stuff because it's actually strategic, like, yeah. you know, some, you'll, you'll be behind Boxes. some kind of cover that's like destructible <laughs> and you yeah. want to like, make it so that the cover gets destroyed so the player is constantly moving around and feeling yeah. like the uh, intensity of the uh, gunfight and sometimes we put stuff somewhere because we know the player is probably going to plow right through it and it's going to look cool so you know yeah, there's cool. like a okay. there's like there's like a mix right right okay and, yeah yeah and a large impetus and, for uh, this scene sorry it was just because we realized we hadn't done a, a scene inside uh, sullivan's plane since the first game and we needed to uh Needed to no, get back really? To that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. That's true. Yeah, no, that's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how you notice, like, when you play it until you mention it, you're like, oh, yeah, we well, actually haven't seen something. Yeah, and well. that's actually another thing. Like, when we were making the first Uncharted, you know, mocap production wise, we, we built a plane set. I mean, and it was obviously open so that the mocap cameras could, like, read everything. But, like, you know, we built something that was, like, the right shape and height of the door. Uh, we built, like, little controls we uh, that they had there and, like, all these little things to sort of give the idea of the fuselage. Uh, turns out we didn't need to do that. And, I mean, it was really, and it, and, I mean, it was really, it was really, really cool. Um, but... You know, eventually we started getting a lot more efficient and realizing, like, oh, we can just like stack some boxes up here, and then we can just like put these uh, two little uh, standee things right here, just to say like, don't walk in between these. This is the door, and then we put like another little C clamp up here, say like, this is the height of the door, and that way we're able to swap things in and out really Real fast. fast. Yeah. And, uh, Clever, yeah. Well, I yeah. Remember and like when I got for uh, when I was doing well before Gears, I had another game that got canceled. Um, as they do, but like I remember, like going, oh, mocap looks interesting. What do I have to learn? I was, I think you had a behind the scenes featurette or on maybe it was Uncharted Two or something like that, and it was, I was watching the filming of it as a kind of a way to educate myself as as about what I was about to get myself into, and it was like so I always remember learning a lot from watching, you know, um, Nolan and everybody like you know sort of jumping over things and hiding and do the. I was like, oh wow, so it's like it's like avant garde theater. It's cool. It's like the a little bit, yeah. In now. fact, yeah, a lot of the actors responded that way. It's sort of like they were all working in some like little black box theater. Yeah, uh, yeah that's how I thought about it. And ultimately, like one thing that we were looking for when we were casting early on, uh, particularly with like Nolan and Emery, was like how beautiful. Yeah. Look at that brand <coughs> <name>. right. magnificent. <laughs> and like it really holds on it for like so Sony has 10, some kind of connection, 15 obviously. seconds. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. Zoom in and out. I want to Sorry. buy it though. I do actually yeah, yeah. want to buy that now. I yeah. can't now. It is a sick phone. And Sorry, yep. continue. And here's, honestly, here's, here's, here's <laughs> okay. a scene of uh, Nate lying to Elena. I love it. Uh, yes. Blatantly and horribly. If, if this is a really oh, good scene. Can, I, you know, cool. can we watch, watch this? Can we watch it? All right. We can sit down. Yeah, go for it. You know, what? I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, take a quick break, and I'll be right back. Yeah, strong choice. Absolutely, really yeah, go strong ahead. Choice. As long as you guys are safe. So, are you going to start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, lie. We're going to need maybe another ten days or so. <laughs> lie. Just a lie. <laughs> Straight lie. Uh, yes, yes, it is a lie. You are. You're she right. knows him, though, Todd. She knows him. Mm. Uh, you know, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I mean. <sighs> Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. It's not Just also said, a lie. Just said Wi-Fi Repeated connection lost. lost. Mark a tune. On the game. Let's see what happens. 
That's eight seconds in the future, so we can watch our stream. And if it suddenly stops, no, 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 you're all good. We'll have an it issue. It doesn't. You're you're not playing your game online. It's all good. Oh, cool. Oh, well, weird. Yeah, you're playing your game on your console. It's only if like we were playing multiplayer and we were all playing together that it would be messed up. You know what never loses signal? Paper. A map. Sony's phones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guarantee not a guarantee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> guarantee not a guarantee. May or may not work. <laughs> it's a great sequence, actually. All right. Oh, this oh, is shit. Oh. Teaches you how to Here use it. Here it is. The Twelve Apostles, the Twelve Towers. What? I want to put, oh, have they, haven't they got like a, a drift mode? No, <laughs> and there's... Not quite. Okay, okay. No, they don't. I'll talk to, I'll talk to Josh. Maybe. See, I love this. Oh, no, yes, he shit. does. Look at that. Oh my God, I come back to this. Yeah. Come on. Yes. <laughs> You're going to drive off a cliff so any minute, Josh. I am Josh. testing to see if you put in drift mechanics. Yeah, where's yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, Madagascar drift. There you go. <laughs> Too fast. Yeah, so, so, too, too uncharted. Yeah, there you go. It's yeah. Yeah, look at that. yeah, you can slide it. You can slide it. Kick it yeah. out. Okay. Oh, hey, check out those ruins. What are you doing? Check, check out the ruins, ruins. Liam. Oh, just, oh my God. What's cleaning wrong? cleaning the car. Oh, 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 how would you? How can you drive past ruins and not check them out? Like, I don't... Yeah. How does I your brain work? Do but here's the thing, is that you can. This, of course, being our first uh, open-ish world section of the True, game. yes, yeah. So the... You can So the beginning of... And it also, as you can see here, we can gives us an opportunity for like uh, Sam and uh, Sullivan to uh, chat and kind of catch so up good. and get a little yes. bit of get some little bits of uh, character building moments. And there's nothing in here except a little treasure, but it's just the whole first section of this level is sort of introduce players to the idea of like you are driving a jeep and you can stop and look you at can stuff. Go wherever you want. And yeah. Yeah. So and, and so that's why the beginning. Uh, for the Jeep, it's like very, very straightforward, like mostly straight, just give you a chance to get used to the controls. Until it's and, on. Yeah, until later, and that's when it's, they really start kind of... Uh, how, yeah. how soon till we get into some Jeep battle? Oh, actually, let me show you. Uh, hop out of the Jeep for a second. Hopping out. Okay. You can enter it like four different ways, like Jeremy and his team, like uh, depending on I where you go, this. as soon as you get a prompt, whoop, whoop. Yes. and there's like different animations depending on where you get in or if you jump and you get in. It's just like... It just does oh, it yeah, no matter what. Me, yeah. Sam. yeah, there's all these different yeah. things. Little attention. I love like yeah. like vaulting over the uh, the windscreen was, was always great. a great one. Yeah. Is that one love of those that. things where you like you're like running behind on the game and you're like, excuse me, uh, hang on. Is that what, what have you done? Have you yeah. have you just <laughs> built eighty five different ways to get in the cut? Well, I thought it'd be cool. We've got to ship this game. No. Well, Sorry, you know, one of the that's that's right. one of the things that uh, <laughs> one of the things about Naughty Dog is um, that we encourage people to try to take ownership of the stuff that they're working in and like just do things that they are excited about and you know at a certain point we sort of have to like put the brakes on some things um mm -hmm. just for this just for the sake of like actually getting the game out the door but you know there are people who their animators are just like i'm gonna animate 20 different ways to get into the jeep just because they can and why not it's yeah, that, honestly a great part, thing though, though. Yeah. Break. Oh, here's another thing there's a there's a yes. waterfall over to the left uh, Leftish, it's the largest. Ah, there we go. There it so is. So this is a waterfall, and I don't know if you all know this, but it is actually against the law to put a waterfall into a video game if there is not a cave behind it. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, I loved yeah. that there was a cave. Yeah, so you can drive through the waterfall. Yeah, go into it, and then it, they go. they comment on that, don't they? Yeah. Yep. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is actually pretty cool as well because you'll find some really old stuff in here. Ah, oh, it's yeah. just so good. I love yeah, the this game's like my favorite. Game. Open palm turn. Yeah. Oh yeah, old school. Subtle. Yeah. So it's the same thing, and yeah, part of the cool. thing, and part of the thing that we do here too is uh, we start uh, trying to lay in the uh, groundwork for the uh, backstory of uh, Henry Avery and like mm. what happened with the treasure and what happened with uh, how it got from point A to point B. And this is actually this is actually a first for the Uncharted series. Like the uh, previous games did not have uh, document pickups, 
and part of the reason for that is that they were set in ancient civilizations that uh, would not have had uh, any uh, surviving uh, paper lying around that they could uh, instantly translate versus this where it's sort of like well even even from the 1800s and such might be stretching it a little bit but whatever um it's so great creative license so the 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 document picking up like in this game as well as in uh the last of us the first one and of course obviously the second one but it's just so great because you can follow certain stories and um the the one that breaks my heart is the guy up in uh like that we just passed it's in the cave in scotland and he broke his leg oh, and uh, no no one could come and get him and he couldn't move and he just died there and it just breaks my heart I'm like oh no <laughs> but i i love those like small snippets of story and lore and that's one of those um, tough jobs as a writer, right? Where cool. you kind of like, I, like obviously it's not as bad as you know, as difficult in this game as it is in, you know, some of those bigger like you know your Mass Effects where you've got tons and tons yep. and tons of like check the terminal. There's 55 yep. stories on the you know, and you're yep. like, oh, yeah, we try not to over. Yeah, I mean, we try not to overwhelm the player with that mm. stuff. We just want to like give just enough for to motivate them to. Oh, cool. Wow. Just, I <laughs> wow. I amazing. love the Roadhog Red. Right out of the car, so yeah. Good. Yeah. Roadhog Red. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nope. yeah, we try not. We, trying to do, trying we try. To we try. We try not to. We try not to. Uh, we try not to overwhelm the player with that stuff yeah. because at yeah. a certain point it just becomes noise and you ignore it. But if you just like give them little bits and pieces every now and then, then it's usually yeah. enough. And you know, I don't. <sighs> I don't remember the uh, the uh, statistics of how many people actually stop and read all those notes, but uh, it's enough that uh, people do and enjoy it, so it's all good. Yeah, uh, yeah you want to try see. and get up that bridge on the left. Did to the come left into somewhere. the audition process yeah. here, Josh, and just absolutely slam it, and you were like, this is it. You know when you had those home runs, walk in, amazing. Uh, for Uncharted 4? I mean, yeah. uh, Warren oh, Cole for Rave, now, yeah. Oh, across all of them. Yeah. I mean, <sighs> Nolan was, once Nolan auditioned, I think everybody had pretty much like uh, set their minds yeah, on right. it. Uh, we'll cut that and, out uh, of the stream. We won't want to see <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow, yeah. Something Josh said they were real shit and they were looking at lots of other people. Yeah, and you were like, skin of your teeth, man. Like, Except you nobody else was available, yeah, so. Yeah, everyone's scheduled. Three other yeah, people they tried yeah. to get. Yeah. And I, mean, we, I can't remember. I, that was such a long time ago, honestly. I don't yeah. remember how many different people we looked at. Um, yeah. Okay. And now, yeah. Here's designers having fun with uh, traction physics. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, good. You have to stay on the stone. Yeah, just, the just aim for the just aim for the rocks. Oh, this is dope. Yeah. And, if, yeah. and if you're stuck, if you're stuck, just let yourself drift back. There you go. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You've done it. You've done oh, it. You got it. You've done people. it. You Equally, and um, we did actually have a question from chat that is also related to that from Minerva. They said, "Who was actually the hardest to cast?" Mm -hmm. <sighs> Nolan. If you can say, obviously, just I mean, if you can't, it'll make us all happy. Everybody, um, just say no. Yeah, if you can't, who, who say, is the say most uh, difficult to work with? Is that was the question? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, that's hard to say. I mean, yeah. I think um, the I cannot remember the actress's name though. The little the little girl uh, who in Lost Legacy uh, who played Minu. Uh, who was fantastic? Oh, She's yes. a little girl you see at the beginning. We were very, very, we were trying very hard to find somebody who was actually the the uh, proper uh, nationality, and it just even in Los Angeles just took a long time. Yeah. But once we oh, met her, right. she was like, okay. Once we met her, she was like, okay, yeah, this, she's that's it, that's perfect. Okay. And. Um, oh. And I yeah, I just, know just trash and shit. I'm trying to the, the principle is, of Uncharted yeah. is to wreck everything nice <laughs> yep. that you see. Yep. That's there the, is that's the hidden message. Nowhere to there buy. is a there is a, a trophy for knocking over a certain number of those cairns. I got them All the last cairns. Time yeah. I I and, and I can't remember the trophy name, but I think it's uh, not a cairn in the world. Oh, uh, yep. if it's not, I, it yeah. should be. Yeah. Um, it is. Try to work those puns in, but uh, but the, some of the interesting things that happened though on casting on Uncharted, like on Uncharted Two, um, oh. originally. Uh, Originally, we were uh, auditioning uh, uh, Graham McTavish uh, to, Graham uh, play, uh, uh, to play to uh, play Flynn, and uh, then oh. uh, and then uh, we were and then Steve Valentine came in. So that was mm -hmm. great. And then 
Grand McTavish is like, oh, yeah, we're going to make him Lazarevich because he's perfect. Mm-hmm. like, can you do a Russian accent? Can you be scary? And here's this very, very nice man suddenly coming in. So great. Yeah. And we're like, oh, shit. Look, Tavish is terrifying. Awesome. He's so lovely. Yeah. He's so yeah. good. Yeah. You yeah. Say, yeah, it, yeah, it's definitely. Like, yeah. And, and like, yeah. If you, see, you wouldn't have like, seen like, Outlander or anything like that, would you? He's just great. Oh, um, no, no. I, I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah I know. As a Scots, Scott. he's like, yeah, I'll fucking yeah. kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. he's great. Like, That's usually yeah, the way those bad guys are always the loveliest. Thank you. Yeah, like he just sort of like flipped that switch. That's actually true. Uh, the guy who played, uh, the guy who played Saab in uh, Lost Legacy, uh, Usman Ali, who was fantastic, super nice guy, super chill. And then he like gets into that game, and he's all like, yeah, so, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all good stuff. It must be it's fun to play though, equally as an actor. Like, so I mean, great. I'm sure Todd, you can attest to that for playing Caesar right in Spartacus. Mm. Caesar's a good you guy. were kind of yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Is well, he... you, what happens is you get a full spectrum, a full scope of taking the character any as, as far as the end, other ends of the spectrum as, as you want. And I remember the producers when we had the first meeting and, and I, I asked them, I was like, look, I want to, you know, I in my in my research for, for Caesar, he had done some horrible things. Um, what? Caesar? Mm, I'm not yeah. Sure and, uh, Caesar. and I was like, I... Uh, A2, know, Todd? A2? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we got his. He yeah, he his. um, and I was like, "Look, I want to bring that dark element to him as well, and and uh, not just having this noble Roman." And and they they did. They kept writing some, you know, incredible stuff for me to play, and and some some sort of heinous, uh, torturing elements too. So, it, 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 but I always find those characters the most fun to play just as an actor because you do get that full scope. You know, sure. sure. Yeah, that's what, and that's what we were always struggling with on the Uncharted games because because the the, the antagonists often don't get that much screen time so yeah. hence the eavesdropping scenes hence any opportunity we like right. when rafe calls you on a cell phone later in madagascar like any opportunity that we can get to uh, get the uh oh, to get yeah. the villain hanging out with the uh ah uh, yes the winch the winch, the winch. Wow. The winch. Oh, here it is time yeah. to shine winch time to shine yeah. game mechanic let's do it yeah this I was the, uh, i love sliding down this the sliding down yeah, this sliding down yeah. Um, oh, so right, this. Uh, oh yeah, I probably want to turn. Is old mate gone? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, he's just up. He's just up yeah, the no, top. Oh, okay. Troy's you didn't lose him. Taking a look at some runes, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. There you go. Like that. There you go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, the winch was a bit of a Genius. technological mar- marvel as well. Yeah. Like just that little thing that uh, Nate did, where he like is switching the winch from uh, one hand to the other with oh, the cable, yeah. so it doesn't like it doesn't it. pass through his legs. Like oh there it goes again. God, oh, that's, that's so clever! I never boss. noticed that. And likewise, also oh, wow. like wrapping it, actually, actually wrapping around oh, the tree and working. Back. That took a lot. Of, yep, slides back. took a lot really? of effort from a lot of people. Wow. Like so, my Isn't that my funny? my claim to fame in terms of like the pinnacle of my game design. I decided for a while to try to learn Construct Two, which is probably the worst hmm. game design program. And I, at some point, I figured out how to make a guy with a grappling hook, like and it retracted and extended and it would log into the wall and i was like i think i win games i think that's it i can uh, i can work at any company in the world (laughs) (laughs) yeah and it was it was it was reasonably buggy but it was it it was it's like just trying to make a thing do that like trying to make anything do that i was like how do people make games like this is i am not cut out for this this is so hard and people would just be playing this sequence just going well i've never considered that i I often i like to think i like see these things and go i see you i see you game designer i spent 50 years years did you see that it was just hooked on the rock and it was still the cable was sort of yeah did you see Yeah, the physics of it are really yeah it moves over that's the attention to detail that uh we hire people for it because yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's amazing yeah. and it's one of the id clip id no clip and then suddenly it doesn't matter anymore yeah i mean um, well i mean it, it i mean liam like even getting something like that done in whatever engine is an accomplishment like making mm-hmm. games is really really hard and yeah, you know great. one of the things one of the things that uh, a lot of people don't appreciate is just how hard some of the stupid little things are never mind like the big mechanics or anything like that there's always something that you haven't considered that you have to sort of account for. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's why, you know, the joke, the joke is always like, um, oh, now here's the most open section Beautiful. out of them all. Yeah. Um, Absolutely stunning. Yeah. It's Look at that. And there's so much to explore here. There's like optional battles as well, right? With the, with the Marines and stuff. So you, you can skip past them altogether or you can play them. 
Um, yep, there's a whole bunch of optional battles. There's a bunch of optional places to explore. And uh, if you uh, run out of uh, their conversational dialogue, eventually it will uh, play uh, a really terrible pirate joke that uh, <laughs> was, uh, which, um, which caused, great. which, which caused Troy physical pain to speak. <laughs> like, he, he was, this, this is one of the instances where Troy was like, do I have to do this? And I said, yes, yes, you do. Yes. I just don't think the character would say, he says it. He definitely says I don't, it. I don't, I don't think the character would say this, but the character's going to say it. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> okay, well, we have mm, to do. Is it in the script? Because yeah. then you should say it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> there is also, um, <laughs> yeah, there is a, there is a period of time, like I, I floated the idea of like, if you run out of stuff, can we just like have them start singing 99 bottles of beer on the wall? And, <laughs> for, a and brief, they do. for a brief period of time, we entertained it. And then we we're like, this is going to be a localization nightmare. So, <laughs> so, we, yeah, yeah. so, we, so we did. That's the um, kind of stuff that you don't even think about too, where you're like, I, we have to get this into like 50 languages. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, yeah, we could have done point. something where they like sing one verse and they're just like, all right, that's enough. <laughs> well, they'd be like Australian characters. I feel like they reference like, it, no? Oh, maybe not. Yeah. They, may, they might reference it. I don't remember. I but... um, and, and you'd like, I'd be like, oh, you know, a really good Australianism is this. And they're like, yeah. You can't. Nah. I mean, <laughs> trying to get that in like Portuguese, they're gonna be like, "What?" And you're like, "Yeah, fair enough." Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> you know, that doesn't just doesn't translate. Uh, oh, bombs, explosion, gunfire. Oh, it's go. a good combat go. sequence. Combat oh, arena. So, did you, in terms of like making an open world game for the first time, yeah. did you find any things that were like good rules to have? Because yeah, I, I remember once I played. I was playing Red Dead Redemption One. And there was a point where it was like the train's going to explode. We got to, we got, you know, like the train's being captured. We got like, we got to get down there and stop these cattle rustlers from getting the train or whatever it is. And and you know that if you don't hit the boundary where the level triggers, you could just go off and hunt deer and do whatever for like six games, uh, six days. Yep. And you like, and then it's like, oh no, there they go, get them, and, and you know, and it just doesn't. It was, yeah. like, it I mean, that's what I was for me in my mind, where I was yeah. like, "Oh, wait, there's no rules," but it's hard to. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I was saying earlier in terms of like the uh, urgency, and mm. uh, yeah. it also it also kind of breaks in terms of the character. Like, you know, it's like you know, if you have a character who's like, "Oh, I was bad once, but you know, I'm trying to mend my ways," and then ten minutes later, I'm going to shoot everybody in the town and take sure. their clothes, sure. and, and you know, <laughs> then there's also there's also a little bit of a disconnect there. Yeah, but, of course. So so with us, uh, what we really tried to do Running here over. is just try to oh yeah you know you can totally run dun, people dun, over dun, you don't want to be stealthy dun, 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 dun. you can do what you Sorry, want here I, I, I thought Blammo. you were going to go with stealth food oh that's good yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. go all in uh -oh. yeah but There's what we did discover here. is that a lot of the dialogue has to sort of end up accounting for oh, bad, uh, player bad, bad. choices yes ah okay. uh, yeah yeah of course yeah so like so for example like at the end of this sequence there's that little bridge thing that you have to pull down in order to continue yeah. so like uh, if you manage to sort of get all sneaky up on it first and you try to do it uh and then you start getting shot at yeah and they'll say like we have to come back to this later then when you finish combat when you go back to it then somebody will say all right now let's try it or whatever it yeah, is that's cool. right. uh, versus, yes, yes. Versus, i always default to a sullivan voice whenever i'm <laughs> yeah 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 it's so yeah, true it's, it's hey where are you going ah, ah. Oh, hit that hit that i'll see you later buddy <laughs> ah. yeah right. do you do sorry, that, was, that, was, that was more the that was more the penguin than sullivan <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't um, do stealth on uh, this channel. We just oh, yeah, that's not my really not. Guns blazing. I you might regret this, depending on whatever I level you're playing that. this on. I don't know, he's popping. It leans. Yeah. I think you've been practicing, bro. No. Go you? for it, bro. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, um, that part where this, you have uh, to pull down the bridge as well, I don't know how. I've never thought of this. and the, I can't tell you how many times I've played this game, Josh. And obviously there's Thank two you. pillars that you need to pull down with the winch, and I always, always do them one at a time. Uh, I never oh, thought um, to do it together. together. I guess you can. Um, yeah, I'm not I, sure never, I never thought that. I'm I always sure. did it one, one but, at a time, but you can uh, winch the two of them uh, together uh, and drive it. Yeah, I mean, there's other, I mean, some, to give you an example, some of the other stuff Great. that you have to account for. I mean, this is an example like at the, uh, in the uh, at sea chapter when they're oh, going yes. around in the boat. Hmm. Um, so... There's a skeleton tied to a post on one island. Yeah. And then there's another island uh, where there's like remnants of a shipwreck and there's a note. And when you read the note saying like, so-and-so went fucking ape shit, so we had to tie him to a post. Uh, so, so, so the thing is, if you go to the post first, 
uh, the dialogue is something to the effect of like, oh, I wonder what this guy did. Uh, but oh, if you go to the post after reading the yeah. note, then it'll be like, oh, this oh, is the guy, the guy who went ape shit, I bet. Yeah, so, and just sort of oh. being able to, but then being able to account for like every little instance and permutation of that is uh, sort of the yeah. uh, challenge uh, with these particular things. Because oh, yeah, one of the things that we've always tried to do in our level design is sort of like what we call wide linear, which is to say like we're we're funneling you along, but we want to try to give you as many options yeah. as we can. Yes, yes, and whether sure. that's like and whether that's in like a combat arena like this one or whether it's in like how you're climbing up a particular cliff or whatever. But this was this level was really the first time uh, that we made something that was genuinely like you could do these things in a number of different orders. Um, yeah. I like yeah. that term, and then wide that, linear. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. And then that sort of culminated in the uh, that uh, chapter of uh, Lost Legacy, where it, it literally is open, and you can hit these uh, temples yeah. in any order. Oh, um, such and, a good game. <laughs> and then I also worked. I also worked on the uh, uh, Seattle section uh, in The Last of Us Two, which is also another big open area exactly. where you could okay. like go and explore things in any order. Um, it's gorgeous, though. It's it's probably the biggest area in that game, right? Um, too. probably the biggest contiguous area that you can explore all at once. Um, okay. but yeah, yeah, it's certainly like the biggest area you have access cool. to all at once. Most of the others yeah, are sort of cool. like, are gated off, whether it's by mm. push doors or whatever little devices we use to gate you from one thing to the that. other. I, mean, I, True, know, yeah. I, I just feel this is the only time I probably ever felt like I'm in an, uh, Assassin's Creed game. I'm yeah. Like, yes. climbing, I'm like, I feel like there's an eagle at the top and I'm just, I just have to, in order to find out where I am. There is the probably top. a treasure up I'm there sure somewhere. There's probably or a, a treasure or something up there, but you definitely don't need to know, go up there. I apologize to yeah, everyone it's a sniper watching rifle, the stream, sure. and I kind of <laughs> feel obliged to get it. Just... I mean, you can just climb up the rope there. There you go. And now you got me. some. Yeah, there you go. Now you got your beams. There you go. I think it's probably yeah. just a sniper rifle up there. I don't know if there's a treasure. Don't say just a sniper rifle. It's worth yeah. it. This is a good and a treasure. Okay, there it is. It's there on the left. Oh, it's just here. It's, there's the sniper. It's got to be there on the left. You got to. Where's the treasure? I want to slide down. Basically, it's to slide down this thing. That's what I'm in it for. I'm just going to be honest with you. That's fair, uh, yeah. 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 And what's fun is you can slide down that thing that's, in middle of combat. Oh, yeah. oh, that would have been sweet. Oh, that's there boss. You All right, there did you go. pick up off. the sniper? Wee. Never mind. I didn't. I didn't. And I didn't want to. Uh, there you go. Reasons. Okay, that's all right. Uh, there you go. Right. Well, he's got that boss semi auto. Yeah, so I got, that I got a foul. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how oh, it. that's right. No, it's not that you try to pull down the bridge before combat, but if you just like try to drive through and then drive across that bridge, obviously the bridge goes kafloomp, and you yeah. gotta. <laughs> Yeah. That's it. Oh, That's the sound effect. That's the exact sound effect of yeah, Max. Like, just watch. You did fully it on it as well. It's kind of amazing. On. Um, One of the things that we, everybody always dreams of doing is sort of like a uh, unlockable mode where you replace all the sound effects with like uh, just people making sound effects with their mouths, like yeah. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish. And the, yes. the yes. truth is, this sheer amount of work that would take is. <laughs> <laughs> Not even worth discussing, but uh, we'll just still. turn off the we'll just turn off the audio right now. Todd and Liam will go for it, right? Yeah. You guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's just like me and my two year old, basically. Perfect. Yeah, you know, nobody needs it. Exactly. <laughs> go, Liam. More. There you go. See that pagan? Both power. at once. Both at once. There you go. Yeah. I know, and I I never done there that before, go. and it's so silly. Nice. I've always done it. I've always done it one at a time. Yeah. Uh, my brain doesn't work like that. I'm sure I <laughs> my brain's not like, thing. oh, well, I'll just yeah. wrap the two. Here comes one of uh, my favorite of uh, Richard's uh, line readings oh, coming good. right up in a second. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. Once, once you get up there. Come on. Come on. Here it comes. There you go. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was That's it. That was it. Why? <laughs> Space. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> Um, I gotta look silly. Anyway, no, I, I, let's not talk about that. Um, L3. Here we go. Here we go, baby. So great. Look at that. The fidelity that so you're gonna chase drugs. them down, hopefully. I mean, way up to the top there. I'm gonna try. It certainly isn't implying I should. I kind of want to do tricks. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do tricks. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that's. Like, I don't know, you just get actors for that. I know that, was it you that was, no, it wasn't you making gun sound effects in something. Was yeah, it? no, it I used to do the sword sound effects in Spartacus while I was fighting. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, oh that's funny. So, spoiler alert, but when no, I killed one of the main characters, I had, um, I had to, like, 
I have my sword and then I like drive it through the top of their neck, like down into Obviously. their internals. What else would you do? And um, literally on do? the backhanded stab, oh, I went <laughs> like that. Literally that exact sound, and and they yelled cut, and I was like, that the no, boss, you know what I mean? It. That's such a <laughs> dramatic moment. And the director came over, he goes. Hey, look, love it, but um, <laughs> we'll, we'll do the sound effects in post if you like. And I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck. So I used to always do these like, shing, 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 like when I'm fighting because you you rehearse it so many times, you know where the hits are coming. And uh, yeah. yeah, the stunnies as well would clock me all the time when I'd be like, shing, shing. Wait, was I because you're so in the zone yeah, totally. and that little kid in you is wearing like a full on suit of armor and fighting in swords. It's like, I never you know, once did that because I was a professional. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. it makes me think uh, in uh in uh, the last in the last jedi uh, laura dern actually every time she fired a gun she would go she go Pew! and in the no final way. cut of the movie in the final cut of the movie you actually can actually see her do that she goes you just see her no. mouth you see her mouth make the move but you but uh, but you don't uh, but you don't hear it obviously because it's using the real so sound weird. effect that's so uh, funny my um our buddy craig on Spartacus had his own take on what sword fighting sounded like. And he was famous for doing what Todd oh, did, yeah. but instead of doing sword sounds, he's this flef, flef. And I'm like, say flef. <laughs> where did you, where are you, I don't even know. At where least mine you, was like, you know, sort of Jason. Yeah, they you know could have I mean? probably like, used it as, as like a guide track or something. Flef, flef, flef. I don't know. I don't know. That's not how my sword sounded. Killing me. I assume. Oh, yeah, oh, do I, I didn't, I, I didn't have anything like that, but we did a, um, okay. I, I was on Color set range. for, for something and something. essentially Ooh. it was like myself and my boyfriend who's my husband at the time and they're like okay so if you could just like kiss but like you're think about it like you're at a rave you're high on whatever you've taken <laughs> and you're just like you're just making out real hard and i was like okay oh, <laughs> so we did and then we at the next method. take like the director's like yeah cool, cool cool we're just gonna run that back and uh, and then the sound guy came over and was like could you like not make sounds <laughs> and i was like oh god that's embarrassing <laughs> like, just like I, we didn't know like yeah it was very bad it's very because he's like just go for it full on you're high on whatever like but never mentioned could you do that quietly please yeah so across <laughs> all of the, the the audio from the like the main characters or whatever there was just this just the sloshing <laughs> sloshery I, <laughs> it's, it is weird I when you have to do it without, so without sound. Oh, you yeah, it's so these, strange. You have to do these experiences, but with only part of the experience showing. I'd get my charger for you my phone. Get, yeah, true. It's true, true, true. Um, You're very funny. Oh, I, what was it? I was... Um, oh, no, I was going to say. I mean, because like, mocap is an interesting experience. So, you know, because it's been so long since I, I, I started on stage. And it's been right. so long since I've done stage that when we were like, when I was finally doing mocap, I was doing mocap um, finally, I was like, we'd have a really good take. And I was like, oh, nailed it. And they're like, oh, yeah, sorry, that person didn't get their lines right. I'm like, okay. And they're like, so we have to do it again. I'm like, what? But it's video games and you can, you can just, just change it, right? And they're like, no. Nah. I mean, yeah, we sort of, it's expensive. And so, it's like, uh... the one take things. Yeah, it's. I mean, with us, we just we just try to embrace the uh, flexibility of mocap, and that was actually something that. Uh, so, the first three Uncharted games, uh, all the mocap was uh, directed by uh, this uh, absolutely wonderful human being, uh, Gordon Hunt, who had had quite a lot of experience uh, directing VO and directing uh, sitcoms. He's been around forever, and he had worked with uh, Amy on a number of uh, projects prior to that, and. The thing that was sort of the hardest uh, for all the actors and everybody used to stage and film to sort of wrap their head around was the fact that you didn't have to, like, hit your mark per se, or yeah, you didn't sure, totally. really have to do that thing. So, and you know, no one's like, "Was they standing in the right place?" And I would always tell them, "Just don't worry about it. If you're not standing in the right place, I'll just sort of pick you up and drop you over here." Yeah, that's, and he yeah, looked yeah. and he looked at me like I was they're speaking cool. Swahili. And then, uh, you know, eventually, what we did was we brought. Uh, we brought the actors and everybody over to the uh, studio and sort of showed them like, okay, so this is what happens. This is what happens when we bring your data in. And so we can place the camera anywhere. And if you're not standing in the right place, we'll just scoot you over. Yeah. And then I think, I think once they understood that, uh, it helped them uh, loosen up a little bit more yeah. in terms of like their performances as well, because they knew yeah. that like, you know, there's a lot more flexibility. I mean, there were some times where it was sort of like, yeah, we want you to end up in this general area, but yeah. you don't have to be standing on this X so that the yeah. rim light is hitting your face properly or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, there's no light you know, concerns. Yeah, totally. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's all just in about... focus, out of focus business. Yeah, yeah. totally. 
Um, exactly. So I, the, the reason that I the, the moment I fell in love with um, mocap properly was when I did a scene and it was good. It wasn't my best work ever, but it was it was good. And and I was like, oh man, I mean, like a lot of that was good, but I want to do it again uh, if you can. And they're like, well, we kind of move on. Uh, I was like, yeah, but my like I did this thing with my face, and they're like, well, we'll just fix it. And I'm like, what do you, what do you mean? They're like, we're animating it, so we'll just we'll just we'll just do do that. And they're like. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah you can just make me yeah. act better it's like cheating this is the great job and greatest job in the world <laughs> make like, me if you oh i threw it's the wrong button that's a grenade yeah. um and i mean oh, yeah if i'm like if yeah. i ever do bad acting you'll just change it until it's good acting that's the best that's so good yep i love that exactly um Sadly. i feel like i've done all the stuff i need to do here yeah. nothing nothing but treasures in here no. if you want to yeah, like head up to the tower on the on the cliff side i kind of do yeah, just side. just sit straight up there. You can shoot a lot of people, and then you can get to the Madagascar City Square. Probably not going to make it to the chase tonight, but that's okay. No, uh, dang it! Hang on. Speed run. Okay. Speed run. All right, speed run. There yep. we go. Can we go. Yeah, let, right. let's just speed run. Got to get back into your car. I will. I will speed run to the car. Is, is, is this is, as fast is, as Nolan can run? I feel like yeah. There's, there's no runs. sprint. I was like, exactly. I don't know. I feel like again. I'm so, so. I've been playing so much. I'm like trying to do this all the time. I'm like, we got to roll from the bus. I know. Children ring in my face. Um, I know. Well, the worst, the worst thing in uh, Elden Ring is the fact that their uh, their run button was a lot of other games' stealth button right? and vice versa. Oh, and for the longest right. time, early on in Elden Ring, I just kept on like, oh god, it's a boss, and then suddenly I go into crouch mode, like, no, no, and then I <laughs> run away. Yeah. Well, I had so it, it took, was, it was, took me about it took me like a couple weeks just to finally like remap them in my brain. Yeah. Well, the same so. thing with like. I think I was playing it on maybe Xbox and normally playing like which, whichever it was, and of course it's like you know push X. I'm like, no, not that X, the other X. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Different, different yeah. control oh, maps yeah. for different PlayStation Xbox yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and this is the other thing too that we would do a lot because because we had no real uh, control over where the player was going to get out of the Jeep. We made it so that the uh, conversations could be interrupted and resumed uh, yeah, based is, on uh, where you were. Not, not easy, right? Yeah, so, so great, yeah. yeah, it took a fair amount of work. Um, uh, I got back to the same, oh, new place. Is this the right direction to the chase? Am I going the right way? Uh, I think it's oh god, it's been uh, forever. I think this is an I think you just sort of have to head another up. Another optional encounter, yeah. No, I don't want to option oh, yeah. them. You can, you can drive, you can just drive, you can just, you can just drive it. past them. There you go, or into them, yeah, or through them. If you have sort of head back down to, go to the uh, main plane right, area, okay. then it should be. A... All right, okay. There we go. Yeah, you're yeah, just gonna go back where you came, basically. There you go. I'm gonna drive up here. Simple. Oh, what? Yeah, probably not yeah. getting the insurance back. Um, you need to go where that smoke is. Yeah, oh, smoke. Ah, oh, handbrake turn. There you go. Lovely. I call for help. Is that a mechanic? Oh no. No. Um, I did have another question here from chat. Okay. If, you'd, if you'd like to answer it, I'm not sure if that is something you can answer, but Bosley K said, knowing how Uncharted 4 ends, mm -hmm. um, from a storytelling perspective, do you think there is somewhere to continue a hypothetical fifth game? <laughs> <laughs> that is a very, that is very interesting. Fired. That is a very interesting question. Yeah. No. Um, we tried very, very hard to make this the definitive wrap-up of Nathan Drake's story. Cool. Yeah. Um, Okay. And I think, and that was that was the goal all and along, and that's why, no. yeah, and that's exactly, and that's why we went when we went uh, for the uh, the uh, add-on and uh, the eventual full game. We went with uh, Lost Legacy and different characters, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's kind of the and that's kind of the fun thing about this franchise and about sort of the action adventure genre in general, which is that you know you have these yeah you have these big cast of characters, you have these worlds, and there's just a lot of opportunity to explore different characters' uh, stories. And yeah. so, like, yeah. you know, like, having a chance to sort of, like, uh, jet off with uh, Chloe and Nadine was just a ton of fun. Yeah. Um, but I'd say Nathan Drake's story here is uh, tied up and wrapped closed up in out. a pretty little bow and closed out. Yeah. Right. So. Good, good show, good show. And yeah. Um, so going to the smoke. Going to the smoke. Where's the smoke? Oh, wait, wait. More important things at foot. I know I want to get to this chase, but we want the chase. I want this to. I don't honestly. Oh, I do God. not think there's there's a lot to do before the chase. I think that might have to wait to your next thing. I'm just letting you know. Oh, I'm sad. Uh, well, okay. I it's okay. Professionally, wants where's? To be. That's really the question. <laughs> That's okay. Does he want to get paid today? Um... <laughs> Here comes. 
here comes Wait, another combat section. A necessary combat situation? Oh, necessary. Yes. No, this is, this yeah. is a necessary you, one. Yeah, you can't skip this one. Okay. You can't skip right. this one. Okay, do it real fast. Todd, do you want to try mm -hmm. the trigger? Right, right, right. I think you're on what? Explorer, so you should be able to okay. nail it. Oh, if you're on Explorer, it should, be, it should go pretty fast. Don't, don't, yeah. don't, don't mm -hmm. give it away. It's Sorry. <laughs> nope. Bro, Explorer. everybody was like, after the first um, game, after the first game. episode, yeah. everyone was like, did he just pick Explorer? <laughs> we were like, yeah. I was told to. People like, we Door don't trust you. Door of the Explorer's room. Yeah. Um, Honestly, it is nice, though, because then you don't have to worry too much about the struggle of the gameplay and just enjoy it. And the puzzles the are all the same level the anyway. So. Jeez, come on. I have yeah, on a hard the one. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think yeah, well, one then of give our, yourself a break, you know? Okay, I need to go one, of, one of our goals with our games is that, you know, because we spend so much time and money and energy uh, making these, like, really elaborate, you know, story games, is that we want to have as many people actually experience the story as possible. Okay. So, okay. you know, for the for the people who really want to challenge, you know, we include the uh, higher difficulties. And for the people who just want to, like, run through it and uh, with just, minimal disruption, push, push. you uh, get the uh, you get the explorer right. mode and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. And, it's, and it's part of a larger... Um, accessibility uh, question that's sort of been coming up recently. Like Uncharted 4 was our first like really big foray into uh, trying to introduce more uh, accessibility options for, uh, mm. for players. And uh, whether that's like, you know, things for, I can't remember which ones are in Uncharted 4, so I don't, I don't want to necessarily say yeah. something that's there that's not, but there was a big effort made to uh, try to allow more people to uh, play this game that maybe couldn't yeah. have played our other ones. Yeah, and then we just right, sort of like tried to carry, we tried to carry that through uh, moving forward. And, you know, right now the Last of Us 2 is kind of like our highest mark yet for that. Like people yeah. who, yeah. people can finish that, people who are blind can finish that game. Yeah, like, with totally all the right, uh, audio cues and things like that. And that was, that was a lot of hard work by some uh, very dedicated people who was, was really important too, and it's great. Yeah, well, I mean, I know that Alana's uh, friend, friends with Stephen, and they they work really well together, and it's like you know they're trying very hard to um, you know, bring as much accessibility into yeah. the, into the um, into gaming as, as possible, mm. which is really cool. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people and Alana even very hard to yeah. Make it easy. If I Alana remember, even credited the accessibility I award. I That's right. I just, I, Try and encourage it's, themselves. Speed That's, runs great. <laughs> if I remember correctly, you have to climb up to the top of the tower, and there's a crate yeah, at the top of the tower. Yeah, there's a crate at the top down. Cool. on the left. Yeah, yep. there you go. Well, no chase there for us. Eh? All right, chill out. There you go. You can do it in forty minutes. You can get through to well, you wouldn't be able to get through to the chase, but you'd be able that. to get through to chapter eleven. It. What's that? Yeah. Oh, it's a brock. Potentially. Get it. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot. It's okay. There's no guarantees. No guarantees. Okay. It's a great chase scene though. Find the way to climb up here. No, no, nothing obvious yet. Oh, there we go. Big yeah. ladder. That's yeah. why I was talking to Sully before. Now it all makes sense. Mm. Yeah, um, exactly. There we go. Yeah, find your way around. There you go. Um, yeah, but in, then in terms of the difficulty too, yes, same thing with all of our games. We want people to experience that stuff. And, uh, you know, that's actually something I thought Elden Ring did a very good job of this time around because a lot of their previous games were like very uh difficult for uh, some people to play whether due to accessibility reasons or just sheer difficulty reasons yes. and while and while elden ring was uh, still very difficult uh it gave a lot more options in terms of how you could play the game so if you yeah. wanted to be if you wanted to try to play it all badass uh you could just like go solo and like do so but if, you know if you wanted to summon people you could if you wanted to use the spirit ashes you could they gave and if you ran into a boss you couldn't defeat, chances are you could like go off to some completely different part of the map and sort of like go that yeah, way. Yeah, level up and stuff first. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so there are different there are different ways to there are different ways to approach it. And uh, and it's just a going concern going forward. Good like mm -hmm. so easy. And there, what are you talking about? It's so easy. <clears throat> yeah. And I mean there's games like um, you know, uh, <clears throat> this indie uh, Metroidvania game, Hollow Knight, is one of my favorites. Mm. But uh, yeah. it's uh, it's really difficult at the outset, and a lot of folks I've recommended it to sort of ended up bouncing off because of it. And you know, there's definitely oh, here comes the shooty part. But uh, yeah, it's all good. I wouldn't worry about those notifications, Todd. This time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I'm just and then uh, I just saw your face be like, oh no, it's yeah. fine. You're not playing online, so it's all good. Yeah. Okay. And then oh, likewise. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> like one of my, yep. oh, there, there you go. And likewise, one of my uh, favorite games of like the last decade is this uh, indie game called uh, Outer Wilds. Oh yeah. Uh, that that is just absolutely brilliant. 
uh, yeah. in so many ways. Uh, but it's difficult to play because you're you're playing you're you're flying a spaceship through a fair amount of it, and flying the spaceship is actually based on actual Newtonian physics. Oh no! And while they make yeah. <laughs> and while they make a lot and while they make a they make a lot of affordances to make it to make it much much easier than mm. flying a real spaceship, but mm -hmm. still you're moving in three dimensional space. Uh, you have the ability to like match velocity of different things and all oh, this wow. stuff but it's a lot to keep track of and so for like more casual players uh, that provides a bit of an obstacle to getting into it which it's a shame because it really is just brilliant brilliant game is uh, there um is it hard for well i, I don't think maybe it's, i'm not phrasing it right not hard but like do you find yourself have like an inner writing moment or an inner animating moment when you're playing another game and you're like, oh, I wish they could have done it this way or I wish they could have done that way. It, can you separate yourself from, I guess, being a dev and playing a game? Um, <clears throat> it's hard. I mean, yeah. more often more often times, uh, the feeling I get is like, oh God, I wish I'd written this or oh God, I wish I'd written this. <laughs> right. I, oh, yeah, I wish, yeah. wish, wish I'd worked on this. Uh, like, what, what, what are, can you give us an example? Oh, go back up and um, okay. uh, out, lower the bridge. I, yeah, I wish I'd worked on Outer Wilds uh, in yeah. that sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Disco Elysium is oh. one of the best written games of like the last 20 years. Uh, oh, it's wow. so good. Okay. It is so, so good. Uh, so rich played, and like, full of depth. Or maybe no, a couple of hours yeah. of that. But it's, yeah. That, I mean, the, yeah, it's, the way that they do a skill tree is just yeah. Ooh, it's a cool idea. Yeah, and it's just, it's just one of the most gen it's also just one of the most genuinely funny and mm. like bitingly satirical games i've played in a long time and yeah, yeah, yeah i was, right. as i was i was playing i was i was playing it be, there's sometimes being like oh i wish i had a chance to work on this this is cool but <laughs> <clears throat> and i mean animation wise sure like although actually one of the things one of the things uh, i saw recently that i was like oh, i wish i'd animated a shot on this was actually the uh spider-man into the spider-verse movie like oh, uh cool that, that? Yeah. like like i I, I don't, you know, I have a kid. I don't have a ton of time to go see movies in the movie yeah, theater cool. anymore. I went to see that movie four times in yeah. the movie theater. Wow. Uh, part, no way. It's so just, good, though. Just because of the fact, apart from the fact it's just, like, really, really good, the, the animation, it was just, like, next level. And it was so nice to see a studio embrace something that wasn't the same sort of uh, pseudo photoreal look that everybody's yeah, been chasing for totally. such a long time. So. So yeah, well, sort of like, and I mean, me of, like, the anime in some ways. Oh, yeah, yeah and I mean sometimes, and I mean as far as the other way goes, yeah, sometimes like things don't land for me and mm -hmm. or whatever. But you know the fact is like, writing is really hard. Making games is really hard. Writing for games is especially hard because yeah. there's so much that's kind of like, excuse me, beyond your control and unpredictable. Mm -hmm. And you know, unlike a movie where like you get a finished script and you go shoot it yeah like like i was saying before games are just constantly in flux yeah can't change and anything. it's just yeah. sometimes yeah and and just sometimes <laughs> and sometimes you just run out of time mm -hmm. or you or you don't have the resources to do it the way that you want to do yeah. and so you know i always try to approach any like criticism i might have of a game uh i love this part um, yeah, it's so good. Oh, <laughs> um yeah but yeah i always try anytime anytime i approach any kind of criticism of a game i try to remember like put myself in the dev shoes and sort of be like okay this probably happened because they ran out of time or they okay and i mean and one thing is like you know naughty dog has been very successful and as a result we're able to do crazy high budget stuff like this but most most studios can't and so you can't you have to sort of like take that into consideration and really sort of think about like okay what were they trying to do here and did they do the best job that they could have done given the resources and time and mm. people and um yeah that's good so, though, to be conscious you, of that kind of thing as well are you Sorry, like five days a week josh like as in what what sort of like scheduling on, on right? when you're developing these things is like are you, oh like, i mean are you working still <clears throat> oh do you mean are you currently as well? oh yeah oh yeah, yeah no yeah. uh it's not like it's not like a TV show where uh, they sort of gather a writer's room and they write stuff and then yeah, yeah, okay. the writers kind of scatter to the four winds until the next writer's room appears. It's no, uh, I'm on, I'm on staff. Wee! Oh, just barely made it. Nice yeah, job. just oh, barely yeah, made that. Was, that. Oh my I, gosh. On, you guys um, don't trust me. It's not, I, I see it now. It's kind of um, it's very well. um, yeah, no, uh, I'm on, I'm on staff there. So I'm, so I'm there yeah, all the okay. time. And, right. uh, and sometimes, uh, 
You want to go up those main steps? Yeah, and you're LA, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're yeah, in Los Angeles. Where, where's the studio? Um, it's, in, it's in Santa Monica. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't actually been working at the studio oh, since yeah. uh, March of 2020, but uh, the studio is in Santa oh, Monica. Really? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Are you doing all um, this from home now? It's a lot of writing meetings mm -hmm. online. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. um, okay. Some some folks some folks are back at the office. Uh, we haven't uh, we haven't done any kind of uh, return to office uh, as of yet. But mm. um, so you're just doing uh, Uncharted Five from home now. <laughs> <laughs> doing something <laughs> his connection just don't went do up that uh, so <laughs> close josh is yeah. like take care uh, bye yeah exactly <laughs> yeah basing it entirely on uh, being trapped in a house so the whole game revolves around uh, yeah, nathan yeah. drake trying to find what he did with his car keys it's uh, oh very it's, cool it's really fresh and you need a 30 realize he realizes it's in his bedroom but he's locked his bedroom so he has to climb around the outside of his house to get into his bedroom nice. so. i yeah. feel like Rapple, i mean there's an Rapple. alternate universe where nathan has just gone crazy and elena's left him and the whole house is basically done up like booby trapped he's trying to get himself out of the house what's this trap door on the floor oh my god where does this go where is this coming from and then you just realize it's like a shutter island moment where he's exactly. done it all himself just alone you know exactly you know after being a raging murderer for so long it just yeah, kind of got to him body count would be epic yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. crazy we're like... not, we're not <laughs> but we love him Wait, we on. love him that didn't oh, okay. yeah. Just, yeah. Just yeah that's a, a very grease. very sturdy that's a very sturdy bookcase yes <laughs> there you go. very good that's wrong there you go. No, but now, this, this, however, not building yeah. the same stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay, exactly. now gonna... you use a little kerosene. It's a good thing I didn't use three of them for these for fun, eh? A little dynamite box. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that's, uh, oh. that's, that's one of the, that's one of the nice things that affords us. Uh, we're, we're a small, very tight knit team mm. and, yeah. uh, we're of, of terms of the, in terms of the writing staff. And so we always sort of like chill together and, you know, and, and yeah, it's different. It's different from, obviously different from film too because with film oftentimes uh people are solitary and they yeah. like sell their script and then once that's done they like it's like out of their hands and they never see it again versus mm. us where we're just constantly writing and rewriting and rewriting stuff as we go based on the needs of the game and the needs of the story and it's all just it's, it's all process, just part of the process like the yeah. Whole oh yeah it's collaborative like you just you check the level design is like we're doing this but like we're gonna say this, but can you even like are we are we able to do that? And you're like, ah, it's, it's actually not playing. It's not it doesn't feel very good as a mechanic. And you're like, okay, well, you know, writers, yep. we need to think of something else to like. We, they can't go this way. They have to do something else. And yeah, exactly. Constantly yeah. through the whole process. Yeah. this whole. Like, yeah, it's like uh, we can't make we can't make the swimming mechanic fun. So uh, no more <laughs> yeah, swimming. Yeah, yeah, okay. Don't make that yeah. part of the game. Like, yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah, I mean it's let's it's make Grand Theft Auto three. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, I mean it happens. That's that's mm -hmm. just all that's just all part of the process. Yeah, um, right. So currently, like, is it something like the game director or the the narrative director, creative director would sort of just give you guys like tasks to do? Like, okay, so Josh, you're gonna have to write up, say this interaction, or there's like here's the premise, go write that up, and then you guys come together and meet. Or so, am I way up? Jesus. Uh, it's so the writing staff on. All the all of our games have been pretty small. Like, oh, okay. So at the but at the, so at the beginning of so like Uncharted Four, like when we were breaking the story, it was uh, Neil and Bruce and myself, uh, Tom Bissell, who we had uh, brought in. Uh, Is to, it Tom to help Bissell out with that. really? Was it Tom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Tom, Tom worked. Tom worked on the story for this with us, and uh, I am a little go bit with Tom McCall yeah, and talk about yeah, that. a little bit, a little bit with Lost Legacy really? and. Um, Really? Yeah, and then also in the room would be uh, uh, the uh, lead designers as well, like uh, Kurt Marganow, and uh, just because we wanted to have the designers in the room too, because we would be talking about things that could affect gameplay, and we'd say like, we want to do a thing where the Drake does this, and like, okay, yeah, we don't have mechanics for that. That would be a one-off, and that would be really expensive. We're like, okay, and this and this sort of uh, constant uh, and back Tom and forth. Was like, I don't see why that's a problem. And anyway, sorry, I, 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 I rag on Tom uh, as much as possible in the dream that he's watching this. It's not real, but I just wanted. So I, sorry, I, just, I was uh, just playing. That's the guy I was playing Elden Ring with. Who wouldn't let me oh, stop really? playing Elden Ring? He's like, we're finishing Elden Ring, and we got to like the, the Elden <laughs> Beast, and I ran out of nice. time. And I, to and I was like, I hate this game. Nice. He's like, we're playing the game. I'm like, I just, I just, nice. everything about it. Is I have to get. I haven't, I haven't talked with him in months. I have to talk oh, with that guy. Uh, uh, Christian Andy Dormy's here. Uh, well, really, what about Christian other buddies? Andy buddies come here. from everywhere. Look at him. Yeah, that's how buddy. Oh, yeah. He played. Uh, he played Tiberius. Welcome back, Christian. Yeah, sorry. Yep. You're about to be attacked, by the way. Just so you know. Yeah, just there's a there's a whole thing here. 
Yeah, but as far as like assignments and stuff like that go, usually what would happen is we start in the cutscenes. We just, you know, I would say, here, you write this, I'll write that, and we'll sort of go back and forth. Mm. And oh, okay. Then when it came to the levels, um, like, it got to the point where Neil was like uh, super busy, uh, like, you know, directing the cutscenes and the rest of the game and all that stuff associated with it. So I sort of headed up writing the levels and I worked with uh, Tom and. Uh, our uh, one of our lead editors ryan james was also one of the uh, writers on the uh, game and so i would like give them levels to block out and sometimes sometimes if i had the time i would sort of like block out like the here's stuff that should be mentioned here's things that need to be said and whatever and they do okay. a pass and i do like, a pass, their pass. I see. yeah sorry and sorry just, sorry and who created that it, fucking dynamic where you crash tackled him and his gun his ak went in the air and you grabbed it from the air I am not that, sure, but uh, that? yeah, it's nope. pretty cool. You can grab that, their no, weapon and cool. it falls. Yeah. That animation yep. where you shoot him in the bum and he falls over. <laughs> no, that's hard. <laughs> yeah. Wow. No, our animators are our animators are incredible. Oh, yeah, it's like, weaker. Like I, 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 I could I could not go back to animation now because I am not nearly as good as any of the people. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, right. So it's. Uh, they should put that in the film. Yeah. You literally but like, um, him very AK cool. in the air. Yeah. It's very hot. Yeah. But Pagan, to answer your question more, like it sometimes once the cutscenes were broken out and the gameplay was ready, usually it would just be you would just be given a level. Oh, be okay. like, okay. here's you do this section of Scotland or you do this section of Madagascar or whatnot. Oh, or yeah. and then like uh, slightly separate from that is the uh, all the systemic dialogue for the enemies that they play in the uh, game. Right. And, that's, oh. and that was uh, something that uh, Ryan James handled. And uh, a lot of that is him working with our uh, dialogue scripters on uh, things like, you know, we need, I mean, sort of the glib way to say it is like, sort of like, okay, we need six different ways to say, uh, look out grenade or whatever. Right. 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 And that's, and that's what, and that's what we call writing parks. But, but a lot of that stuff, writing parks, parks, writing marks, barks with a B. Oh, barks. Oh, very good. We had yeah. gods for some so, reason. I don't know what guy was yeah. called gods. gods. But yeah. uh, and then uh, and then Ryan would work with uh, the uh, dialogue scripter to sort of like make sure it all sort of blended together properly and sounded right. And you know, it was relatively I'm not going to say it was simple as Uncharted Four, but it was fairly straightforward because the enemies were there. But when I started working on The Last of Us Two, uh, one of the first things I did with Ryan and our lead dialogue scripter was. We started coming up with a new system for the enemy dialogue there where we wanted to make it sound more uh, conversational and true to life so one of the things oh, yeah. that we so one of the things that we did was for example uh coming up with the enemy's ability to call each other by name which we had wow. never done before but the one oh, thing that really? we didn't want to do the one thing that we didn't want to do in the last of us was like have somebody discover their friend is dead and then just be like there's a body here or a man oh, yeah. down you know it didn't didn't feel particularly oh, personal yeah yeah, yeah. So, yeah sure so we realized in order to do the naming uh we had to sort of like come up with like a number of different ways somebody could say a name yeah wow. and so it'd be so there'd be like you know you know todd if you just like say it normally and then there'd be like uh Todd, if you're like in the middle of combat, and if you're like looking for him, you'd be like Todd, and then there, <laughs> and then there'd be like Todd's dead, like Todd or whatever, yeah, and yeah. then That's so cool. and the, and fine. there'd be some and, and there'd be some other side. variations of it. Just move on, but the way, <laughs> but the idea is that <laughs> we would want to chain these things together, yeah. so that it would be yeah, things like okay, Todd, you go check over there, I'll go over here or whatever, and chain it together in a way that sounded like natural dialogue and that was kind of like an interesting technical challenge as I well as just a writing how, like, challenge did you just like ring up fifa and be like how do you guys go you know like <laughs> neymar has got the ball and like you know it's Alec not Hansra dissimilar has got the ball you know it's not yeah, dissimilar right. i mean you had to sort of that's why we had to come up with like uh, basically 10 different ways to uh, read the names so that we could slot it in yeah. reasonably the one thing that we couldn't do is like uh is have a line that's like "Where's Todd?" because it, it would sound like a because it, it would sound like a bad recorded message. Where's Stephen? Where's Fred? Right. Or whatever. Oh, so yeah. for those, we had to record the entire line. Like mm -hmm. right. if somebody if the line is like "Todd's been shot," then yeah. it had to be the entire thing. Mm. But if we could separate it, it would be like "Todd, go check in the house." Or "Todd, Todd, yeah. where'd you go?" Uh, like so yeah, you can sort totally, of separate. Yeah. It so yeah, I actually fine. I have a question then about Uncharted Four specifically then because I actually love the the enemy gameplay in this and i love nadine and shoreline and i think they're they're wonderful but partly 
biased because I was born in South Africa. Oh, and of course, you. like Gideon Emery is South African mm. and a lot of mm. your um a lot of the shoreline people are all South African. So you have colloquialisms like brew and things like that in. Did that come from like the South African actor performing those lines or was that written in by your writers? Um, in some cases, it was some cases it was written in, in some cases it wasn't. We have a few uh, South African folks at the office. So like uh, we, ah, would, cool. we would consult with them just like, so is this uh, like, what's some, what's some good slang? Okay. okay so yeah, yeah. here's another, here's another little Easter egg in here. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Head to the left. I've heard of this. This head to the left. Go into the, yeah, go into the, uh, go into the, uh, yeah, the red door right there. So this is a passport office. Nice. Here we go. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, yeah. it's cut the line. But, like, go up to the yeah. front there where Sullivan's comes through. Let's see. Oh, here we go. To look forward to when we get back to the states. Could be worse. Could be our Stotska. So that is a reference to a very popular indie game called Papers, Please. I love Papers, which, Please. Which was written by a dude named Lucas Pope, who so used to work at Naughty Dog. Oh, really? So that, oh, really? So, so, that, so that was our little, that was our little yeah, tribute to him. And then, he, cool. and then he returned the favor uh, in... Uh, in the uh, return of the Obra, in the return of the Obra Din, uh, two of the sailors' names are uh, uh, Nathaniel and Samuel. Oh wow! So, oh, that's really cool. very that's cool. Awesome. And their brothers. Yeah, that's cool. So, that's so, so little, cute. little back and forth there. Yeah, that's uh, that um, is papers, really please. cool. Wonderful. God, that's a good game. Oh yeah, buy the apple. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah buy yeah. the apple. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Xbox, there you go. Nice no, buy the apple. Here. Yeah, there yeah, it is. It. There you go. Yeah, so, oh, sorry. It's and totally a lot of the dialogue in here was uh, like a lot of the a lot of the walla actually ends up getting written and translated and things like that. Oh, buy that. Yeah, play with the fire the lemur. There, there he is. I had this. This was specifically referenced by multiple game yeah. um, creators yeah. as the scene that yeah. they are most resentful of Naughty Dog for because they're like, we could never make something this cool. <laughs> like we could with so <laughs> well, many characters, so much, so much original art, so much, you know. Like... Well, that's the problem. It's expensive. And it's I mean, we're lucky, expensive. we're lucky that we get, yeah. we're lucky that we get to do it. Uh, bye. So some yeah, of the, there it is. some of the marketplace, a lot of the marketplace dialogue was just written by me as conversations and then translated yeah. into French and then you hear it as background. Yeah. And that was also true for the uh, casino. I wrote a lot of the background dialogue too and most of it got translated into other languages mm. except for one which uh excuse me if you play um if you play the uh, auction level there's a part where you're first coming downstairs and you pick up this uh, piece of paper that's um like a lot of the uh stuff that's uh, on our auction and if you stand there you will overhear a conversation in english uh, talk with a, a guy talking about uh, a visit to france that is basically based on something that happened to me oh, <laughs> as really? my, it, it, yeah i mean the story oh, cool. the, yeah the story the story is that um the story is that uh i went with uh, my then girlfriend now wife to uh, france and uh there is this one uh, crepe vendor outside the uh, pompidou center that mm. we uh that we went to one day and then uh, we saw him again the second day and you know both times uh both times my wife and i went up to him and you know, and you know try to order in french tried to speak french i cannot speak french so it'd be like un crepe sucre or whatever it is um Sugar crepe. I and it. Yeah, exactly and um and so the second time we went to him you know my wife had already ordered she had gone off with her crepe and he was making my crepe and he like he looked at me and he said your accent is terrible, like in, in like really good, really good <laughs> English. And I, was, I was like, I was like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's not very good, but I said, but I'm, but I'm trying, I'm trying. And he said, that's good because to try is to live. And he handed me my crepe. And I was no like, way! I was like, Amazing. I'm like, I'm like, what You're the like, chill out, happened? Frenchman. So. So uh, it turns out that was good. So Life I, lessons over a crepe. So so I wrote that in. Except of course everybody at this auction house is like a hardened criminal, mm. and so the guy is talking about how this happened. And so at the end of the story, he said like, and so he said to try is to live. So next day, I had a couple people come by and beat him up and knock over his crepe vendor. But then you know, but then you know, I like started taking French lessons because you know he was right. He was right. You know? <laughs> so. <laughs> so Oh, uh, that's so cool. I'd love to get back I love that. that. So this is uh this is one of my favorite parts of the game actually. It's so cool. This whole um, section is fantastic. And this was also and this was also an interesting thing that sort of and I a good example of like the uh combination of uh design and uh narrative because we knew 
we needed to sort of impart some uh, story and lore such for uh, Henry Avery. Mm -hmm. uh, we knew that uh, we had to somehow like, uh, we knew we had to somehow get into the uh, room below this door. Mm -hmm. And so eventually it sort of came to think, okay, you're going to like climb this tower and you're going to like solve some puzzles. And then gradually <laughs> the puzzles started to evolve a little bit into what they were like yeah. doing it in a certain order and whatnot. And then we were talking about, okay, yeah, you like get to the top and like the bell is stuck. And then you have to do a thing to ring that last bell. And I don't remember who suggested it, but at some point they're just like, what if you like the bell just falls and like smashes through the door in the bottom, like you know, a little bit of, like a little bit of irony, like you don't actually end up finishing the puzzle and it just smashes the door open for you anyway. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. And then that sort of turned into the whole thing that you uh, see here, but that was over like, many discussions and like lots of little things yeah there's like um, all the puzzle mechanics and how that works to me is no. just mind-blowing because you've got a story to serve but you've also got to think of something engaging and clever as a puzzle that fits the story as a whole and yeah. what they're trying to do and you're like so we're in a church how many church you know like the, the, what can you do in a church it's a, it's a you know it's a a, a a crazy big adventure so you want it to be this kind of swashbuckling puzzle situation just i don't know just yeah. just blows my mind that you can even where you even start where, what day one you're like okay we got to get yeah. to here what do we do <laughs> like, yeah i mean well i mean so when we were map when we were mapping out the story uh we like lots of tv writing rooms or whatnot had a giant cork board with like little note cards pinned in it mm -hmm. and such like that and at one point there was a note card uh after the sequence and it just said epic chase <laughs> that's all, <laughs> and that's and that's all it, that's all it said and that's actually all it ever did say after that because uh, we knew we were just going to have to fill in that particularly massive blank <laughs> uh, but um yeah it's just this ongoing constant evolution i mean even after we came up with the whole like okay like what what is this puzzle and they're like okay then we start you start having to build out what this tower looks like and then once you yeah. get there, you, somebody comes with the idea of like, you know, what if you climb on the gears? Like, you know, yeah, how, what, what times allow? Like, what what makes this interesting? Like, we have the ability to do uh, platforming on moving things. Like, what's cool mm -hmm. in a clock tower? You have yeah. gears, you have hands, you have all the yeah. different things. And uh, was it's, is that an improv? Was that is that was that? Uh, no, no. I think really? that was I think that was, I think it was a red line. It's pretty good. Oh uh, no! Uh, yeah, you got to you got to do it. Internal. You have to do it in a certain yeah, order. Of course I do. Yes. Uh, because Scorpio, you know. Scorpio, Aquarius, Aquarius being the best. Yeah. Um, Aquarius, yes, <laughs> indeed, the best, the greatest <laughs> um, of all. Um, I don't know. Scorpio is pretty good. Yeah, my kids are Scorpio, <laughs> so I, got, I suddenly have to be on board with that now. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> He is very cheeky. I have to be on board with that now. Uh, there's a Scorpio. That works. Yeah. That's ace. That's ace. Uh, no, um, somebody had also mentioned in the chat, Sophia has said that I like the trophy that you get outside the building when you stand for 30 seconds. And I also like that too. It's the stage fright trophy. Oh, yes. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, in the um, demo. Yeah, that's, uh, that's right after you take care of all the stuff in here and leave. So uh, somewhat uh, infamously at E3, when we demoed this, uh, we were demoing it live and uh, the cutscene played, everything came up and the controller did not work. And oh, so poor, oh. poor Bruce is standing there like not getting, not being oh. able to work. And finally, we were able to, you know, get a different controller, like Perfect. reset the uh, demo and start it all over again. But for a brief, rather awkward period of time, uh, Bruce was just doing his best up this there to, uh, yeah. to, uh, do it there so we paid tribute to that but if you just stand there for 30 seconds you get a trophy that was the last that was the last time we gave a live demo yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah true he yeah. had a similar story where rod was playing it and it was live and maybe it didn't go seamless and, and they were but he was like no i'm only gonna i'm gonna play a live like to show people that it's like not pre-recorded and i'm like yeah, i don't know if that's necessary i don't know if people are like i don't know i mean because it's obviously gonna play when the game really ships otherwise yeah, I mean, um, it's like it's probably yeah. a pride thing around. Uh, yeah, I mean, it just, I mean, it used to be sort of like uh, B 
because so many games would like use pre-rendered cutscenes and yeah, that sort of thing. True. Like you were sort of sure, like, this is the actual game. This yeah, is not us faking. Yeah. This is not us yeah. faking anything. But now games just look so good to begin with that yeah. it doesn't really matter. And uh, that way, you can also you know control your message a little bit more. Yeah, exactly. I mean yeah, totally. the, like the the demo. Here, so. Yeah, I mean the demo that we did for Uncharted Two uh, went off without a hitch, but there was a oh. bug in the code mm. that if it had actually triggered when Evan was playing it, it would have turned a lot of the textures on screen purple. Oh. Um, oh, really? And it was not. And it was something that very rarely happened, and we they could not fix it beforehand, and so we were just like run the gauntlet. Yeah, right. just sort of like yeah. our fingers crossed. Wow. And, so, so you rang that bell. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm just trying to get up to the right bell. There's probably some kind of. I have to jump on this. And take a left. A bit of this. There I'm it sure is. I'm gonna go around the back of this probably. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. If he goes, then gonna have to do a jump over here. Big swing. Big swing. Big yeah, jump. Jump over there. And that's oh, probably gonna break. oh, I thought that was gonna miss. Your strength of a god, yeah. honestly. Yeah, I mean his fingers have yeah. muscles. Yeah. yeah. His, fin his he fingers are very rich from just being in like you know yeah. professional like. Red Bull sports, like rock climbing and stuff like that. Uh, where is Leo? Leo. Oh, no, where were we at? No, that's a bull. That's a pound. Leo's a lion. Okay. Oh, wait. Is that down? Oh, man. God damn it. Okay. I'm just going to jump and hope. And it's all going to work oh. fine. Going that to was go. such a risk, but Holy paid off. Freak. Was it though? Was or was it just <laughs> absolutely. Skill. I, I know my own skill. Sheer so, skill. Yeah, I mean. Sheer skill. You said Sorry, speed yes. run, so I misspoke. Own, I misspoke. Own. It was um, skill. Are you also going to tell me that we're still not going to be close to this chase scene at the end of this puzzle? I'm, so, no, there's I'm, definitely. I'm, no, I'm, I'm so, afraid yeah. so, because there's because there's a puzzle at the bottom of the tower oh, and stuff like that. But, yeah. However, I mean, it would make for a good jumping off point for your next stream with whomever. That's true. That's true. All right, true, well, should we just finish true. the puzzle and then, then wrap it up? Is that okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're close to time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry. Thank, Thank you so much for staying. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, no problem. I, I love talking about this stuff. Me too. You know, we love hearing it. It's nice. It's nice looking back on this uh, with a bit of uh, with a bit of time and distance. Yeah, and, yeah exactly. Uh, and whatever traumas. <laughs> <laughs> and when was it the was, last time you would have actually seen this, Josh? Because it'd be sort of refreshing for you too, right? Um, I I mean, I can't remember the last time I played it. I played through bits and pieces of it when we put out the uh, PlayStation Five version, just because oh, yeah, I wanted okay. to see. <laughs> Wanted to, wanted to see how it played at 60. Wanted to see, like, yeah, uh, wanted to play with all the fancy haptics and all that kind of stuff. Mm. So that stuff was cool. Yeah. Um, let's see. Whoop, there we go. Chunk. The bell. Yeah. Avery Sigil. Alex Neonaki, in addition to the journal, also designed all the uh, pirate sigils and such. And oh yeah, you got to you got to ring the big go bell to the at the top. top. Look at that. Mm -hmm. and... Okay, all right. So this I can do this in like five minutes though, right? 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 Yeah. Yeah. Well, Relatively quick. Right, what are you doing? Oh, well, if you Why don't you fall do and die. <laughs> don't... Yeah. If you don't fall and die, then yes, you yes you can. You don't there you go. Die, the very idea. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just offending you today. So That's my bad. It's, you know, it's only because of my own experience. I would fall and die quite a lot, oh, you know? Sure. <laughs> sure. Right, so yeah. I'm not as pro gamer as you are. That's also, there's a timer on these deals. I'm sure there is. Your pro always... gaming's getting more pro right, gamer. I'm not going to lie. Just... Okay, the death count of today would be super low. Yeah, we uh, usually oh, have a no, death oh, count. God damn it. Oh, I just said it's too early. Fine. Just come on. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Right, so okay. I, just do I the to... just do the leap just do the leap climbs with the X. Just go up. Yeah, okay. up and then do I have up, to go to the right up, here? To the left. Yes. Uh, keep going up. Keep going up. Okay, okay. Keep going yeah, up. Keep going up. Keep going up. Oh he does get up at the end. In the left, in the left. There it is. Oh, there that, that was a worrying. Bit of a... That wasn't okay. worrying. Here, how about how about the window though? Before you do that. Oh, okay. Okay, pre solve the puzzle, hop out the window. This is the best view in the game. Here we go. Oh and if you look ahead there, um, I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen. You can't see it, but that little tower in the distance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's Sam's tower. And then that bridge that you see in the distance is the yeah. bridge that you get dragged through the water oh, alongside. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's oh all... shit. That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah no, but... right, so yeah, the idea I love... have to make this so that um, I can cross Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, quarter yeah, to three. I love... Yeah, I love this puzzle. It's cool. 
It's very cool. Keep, jump, keep jumping up. Oh, okay. There you go. You can speed it up a little bit there. There you go. So I slowed it down. Uh, yeah, that should work. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Stop. Okay, cool. <laughs> hey, there's a bird here. Get out. Get, get out. Uh, all right, this. Hopefully, this will be. Oh, fine. that's awesome! Such a good idea. That's no, legit. No, 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 no. Okay, yep. Okay. That's Nathan. legit. It's my own Nathan Drake there. No, 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 He's holding it. Yep, good. Wow. Probably one of these will fall. It's so cool. No, okay. I love more of this kind of um, like scaling really tall uh, yeah. buildings and set Terrifying. in um, in Lost Legacy as well. It's just some of some of the set pieces in that. Just. Wow. Oh my that, god. The beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Right. Ah. There you go. We're only on six death count. That's nothing. Bro. See, yeah. What do you normally, mean that's nothing? Normally sixty six. Shush. It's shush. <laughs> enough out of you. Um, okay. 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 So I will say you can jump up and into the bell tower, but if you can, you can also g climb all the way to the top of this tower for okay. a very, very nice view. I will do that uh, if you have time. Uh, so hang on. Have uh, time. Uh, this, okay. Uh, not that way. All right. What's the? Where's the, okay? No, no. I just need Altair to turn off and help me out. Um, <laughs> it's this one here. Oh, yeah. yeah, there you go. All right, that feels good. Yeah. Floop, floop, floop. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's <laughs> legit. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Nice. Look at that. There it is. Look at those birds and stuff. There you go. Jesus Christ. Stunning. Absolutely quite, stunning. And if you look actually back to the left just a smidge, like you sorry, and look up. There you go. You can see the tower that you stopped at with uh, Sam oh, and Sully yeah. sort of in the upper right hand corner. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, so our background cool. artists are just like monsters. Is it's Zap Cash? Oh, I'm like, is that an Easter egg there? No, Zap Cash. No. So like, someone's got like a like. <laughs> oh. you, 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 fifty thousand bucks. I'm gonna get your product What's in here. No one, will, no one will notice. <laughs> <laughs> no one will notice. <laughs> too. I mean, not, nobody. Not everyone will notice, but not the game designers that will find it. I was um, kind of hoping there would be like a hay bale. Uh, <laughs> you could just jump off it. I know. Part of me, I'm, I'm sure there's like a thing where you're like, ah, oh, we can't. Really Whoa! Oh God, sorry. You, okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna fall. All right. <laughs> All right. I feel comfortable. I thought it was going to be one of those things, you know, when you there jump you off go. the the buildings in um right. in Spider Man and you can feel it. Oh gosh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that actually right. gave me that for a second. Like that, like that, like that. Whoop, whoop, what? Whoop. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Do I have to, do I have to right. swing there this? Okay, this thing. There you go. You got to try to ring the bell first. You got to try that. Yeah. The amount of art. Oh, that's crazy. The amount of stuff that if he just took any of this and didn't break it all, you'd be rich. Oh, okay, foreshadowing. Yeah, 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 it does. Which is really clever. Yeah. Like, oh, look, the, the yeah. misdirect. You're like, is it? Yeah. Yeah. The real sequel is when we uh, have Nathan oh, Drake go back right. and, uh, pay and pay reparations for everything that he's <laughs> broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, totally. yeah. <laughs> That's all I can think of sometimes, sort of like for especially like through uh, one and three, right. like you're going to visit these ancient civilizations, and he just knocks it all to the ground, like just burns everything alive. I'm like, no, yeah. <laughs> there's so yeah. many archaeological finds. Oh, yeah, you, you know, doing? there's the adventure, action adventure, treasure hunting uh, stuff is fun, but there is some slightly, shall we say, a problematic as aspect to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Come for on, sure. Swing. To say the least. Thank you. Oh. There it is. Oh, Here we go. What a, oh, this, what a set piece. No, 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 no. Jump okay, out, okay, yeah. Cool. Gonna, no. gonna... We had to add that line of dialogue because uh, people who were focus testing it thought they were watching a cutscene and just constantly right. dying. Yeah. So it was always like, no, no, this is actually, uh, you're actually playing this part. Yeah. That's fair. Oh, get up, get up. Gotta, oh, no, I had to go, go up. up. I just should have yeah, watched it. Yeah, you've got to go up. Because I can't hear the Oop. sound very Ow. well Ow. in my head. So oh, I, like, yeah. I should have been reading it. It's exactly um, where I died. Like, so many see? times you have to, you I have just to go wanted up. to honor that. Yeah, it's hard. Thank you for bringing Thank you. Thanks for honoring that. That's me. Yeah, yeah, you did. You really successfully proved my point. Oh, so hot. Slap that on. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Oh, Easy. nice. Easy. Fine. And the and it's basically untouched. Oh wait, no. no it's definitely touched. Everything is fine. <laughs> yeah. Three, it's five, just two, like you you came in. Oh. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Um, that's not a bad place to end it. I'd say. Yeah. I think it's that's a good. It, this is a, a good. good this is a good stopping point, actually, yeah. as far as things go. So you'll go and you'll do the puzzle. Uh, one thing I'll just point out Please. that you'll see in the puzzle, and you'll also see little bits and pieces you of it later in the game, um, is that 
both uh, Neil and I are huge, huge fans of uh, The Secret of Monkey Island. Oh, and, really? And uh, one of the, and kind of figured like, well, if we're going to be making a, a pirate adventure game, um, long story short, we got to permission to use the image of, but not specifically state the name of a, oh, a certain uh, wannabe pirate. Really? Uh, um... Yeah. So one of the yeah, one of the twelve pirate founders of uh, Libertalia is in fact Guybrush Threepwood. You are uh, kidding and you me. Will, you will see a painted portrait of him in the next section. Uh, there are also there are also a couple of uh, just on that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there's also there's also a couple of uh, throwaway lines that are direct references to the uh, Monkey Island series, oh uh, sort of scattered throughout the game. Are you excited and, about making uh, a new one? You've got to be excited. Yes. Oh my god. Yes, oh I am gosh. very much looking forward to that. Did you I play his other believe... one? Did you play the? Did you play like the? What was oh, that, uh, the uh, Thimbleweed one? Park. Yeah, did you play uh, that? Thimbleweed Park? Yeah, I did. It was, it was good. good. Uh, it, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of it. It felt retro in the right in the right ways. Sure, yeah, uh, yeah. And I, th- and I thought it, and I thought it was good. Humor's um, there. I, yeah, but I'm so excited for mm-hmm. Monkey Island. Anyway, yeah. yeah. No, I'm very much looking forward to Monkey oh the new Monkey yes. Island game. I will play the living hell out oh, of it. My um, yeah, honestly, like. As far as like older games, though, I mean, you know, I've been playing video games since Space Invaders came out, mm-hmm. but like the yeah. LucasArts games uh, have. When a... they closed LucasArts, a person <clears throat> died. I, they reopened, I think. But anyway, yeah. it was like, yeah, like yeah. Sam and Max hit the road and the dig. Yep. And the, oh my god. Yep. Those all those all held a very special place in my heart. Uh, those I, those came out uh, dating myself a little bit. Uh, those came out when I was like uh, in college, <laughs> and. Uh, those were those were the games that sort of like uh, got me. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, story and writing in these games are like you know actually starting to uh, get pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, and actually, in some ways, the philosophy they had in those games are things that we carry into with uh, with Naughty Dog. Not so much the not necessarily the writing part. You know, we try to yeah, live up to that stuff, but 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 more about uh, yeah. But it's more about. Uh, the way that they made their game, they designed their games to make hey, it so that people place. could actually finish them. Yeah, like yeah. it's like you know, I you know, I also grew up grow, uh, playing the Sierra online games, and those were also good. Yeah. But they also had like lots of places where you could die instantly. Mm-hmm. And yeah, um, yeah. LucasArts made a point of making it so that you couldn't. Like there's yeah. no matter what dialogue you chose, the game would move forward. No yeah. matter where you went, you might get stuck and couldn't figure out a puzzle and sort of come back to it. But you would never just like arbitrarily die yeah absolutely and, and and it's the same sort of philosophy like we we spend all this time crafting these stories and these adventures and we want people to see the whole thing if yeah, possible yeah. positive gameplay so, experience so you're always yeah, on like a so, trajectory sort of thing yeah ex- exactly mm. so that's always been the driving philosophy of stuff mm. um yeah. Any other questions I can answer in the next oh, minute? In the next so? minute. <laughs> you've been, you've honestly style. been incredible. Like that this has been just, wonderful. Thank I, you I th- so much. I don't Josh. think we've ever had an episode where we've had to talk the least because you just um, literally flowed. That was the. I'm going to show. <laughs> I'm going to show Nolan this and be like, you I do go on embarrassed about yeah, exactly. your episode. <laughs> you, Nolan. Come on, Nolan. Say something no, funny. I I do go on and on, so it's. I, know, I appreciate it's, it. It's, but it's what, I appreciate it's what people it. are here for. You know what I mean? We get you on as such a special guest, so that. You uh, can guide people through the entire story and the backstory and the lead up and the casting. Like, I'm such a game nerd. Like I yeah. would say that when I when I, I have friends in film, they'll meet directors and they'll be talking about that shot from the 70s movie, this thing, obscure French film. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, I've got to make it up. Whereas with games, I'm actually like, oh my God, this is my whole childhood. This is my hook. whole life. Yeah. <laughs> the and shit the Winch. Of, it's interesting. Like, it the, was... the end of the Matrix, they use this. But, the, but I'm some like a massive game nerd. So I, the, these kind of stories and also like, like uh, again, like I don't know if you'll ever do that um, stream of like old games, which you briefly talked about <laughs> off, off stream. I might, I might. You never know. I mean, if you uh, end up with so much more time someday. Awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. It's it's more it's more it's more the space than the time, oh. but uh, but but I might. I I, I kind of feel, I kind of feel like with a lot of these old games, for me they're fascinating. I mean, just kind of as historical artifacts to see yeah, where absolutely. a lot of these, like a lot of yeah. these things, sort of came from. Because yeah, like, so much of those were like people. I mean, people were inventing genres. That, that's like, crazy. Yeah, like they, they, uh, uh, Tom just it, yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Right. It, it's like games simply didn't exist. Like Jordan Mechner decided, I want to make a game that feels like a movie, and so he goes mm-hmm. and he makes Karataka, and then he goes and makes uh, Prince of Persia. Yeah, and and, that's and I remember it leads to sort of Uncharted decades yeah. later. You know. Yeah, I mean, speaking of you know, seeing people you admire and fanboying out, like uh, 
at GDC some years ago, yeah. like Jordan Mechner received a lifetime wow. achievement awards. And I was back, we were up for something that I can't remember what it was, but I like took the opportunity at a break to like walk over to be like, oh, hi, Mr. Mechner. <laughs> yeah. My name is Josh. I grew up playing your games. They're so cool. Thank you for making it. It's just like, and he was very, he was very nice. He I had that uh, Sid um, Meier and I was like, mm. switch is this. And, and, and uh, no, not Sid Meier, was it? Um, Lord, uh, Lord British was like someone. Oh. Goes, yeah, I was like, I got to talk to you and you like Uncharted, uh, not Uncharted, uh, uh, Ultima was like the game I yep. played for most of my childhood. Yeah. And, um, and then, um, yeah, but there's like Sam Lake and stuff like that. You're like, you oh, yeah. games that just and- changed the game. It's amazing. It's funny you mentioned Lord British. I actually met him when I was a teenager because uh, wow. I was I was super into the Ultima games also, oh, and really? like Ultima Five had just come out, wow. and I, I lived in Maryland and in Washington D.C. There was some like video game show. I can't remember what it was. This is like well before E3 existed, yeah. and like it wasn't CES. For for some reason, a lot of software people are showing off their games there, and so I went because I was a nerd and yeah. walking around, and there's. Uh, Richard Garriott showing off Ultima Five, and I was like chatting. I chatted wow. with him briefly, and he's like, "So, what do you think of Ultima Five? I was like, "I was like, oh, I, I really liked it. I thought it was great." And he's like, "It just came out two weeks ago. You already finished it?" I was like, "I was on spring break. <laughs> yeah, what else I got to do? <laughs> I, I did. I didn't. I did nothing else but play your game." <laughs> so that, that, that was me meeting uh, that's Lord incredible British. yeah but that's, you're right it's like you know someone was like hey wolfenstein i wonder if this could be a thing and just yeah, yeah like just making yeah anyway um yeah. no it's uh, and it's fun and it's fun to talk about to sort of see where that stuff comes from yeah um awesome. uh yeah but yeah no yeah. thanks thank you for having me on very responsive Uncharted. they all love you yeah no yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. the chat's yeah. blowing up i don't know if you can see it josh but everyone's pumped that you've been here and thank you oh, awesome. so much and how, how thanks fantastic. everybody and they they definitely love that you that you like to rattle on as you said so they, yeah. they were very happy to hear you talk. <laughs> i am totally to i am totally day. into venting my loquacity through streaming there's a lot of people who are like please come so. back we can hear you all day so yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly they yeah. loved you here thank you <laughs> I appreciate no, you. this was a lot of fun i love this uh yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you ever play Lost Legacy. We can talk about that. I, I, but, oh yeah, my Lost gosh, Legacy. yes, please. <laughs> well, yeah. We'll yeah. keep you well, posted. We've got, we got Nolan coming back again soon just for, okay. for anyone watching now. So we might even try to get a couple of... We're going to try to... Because oh, we're going to get getting close to the end, we're going to try to get a couple of um, group, group sessions coming in as we'll well. We'll see how you so place, but, yeah, some, but yeah. Either yeah. way, thank you here's so much. The, yeah, here's my, here's my one Nolan North story, which is that uh, you may not know this about him, but he oh, is God. actually a ferocious scrabble player wait like, what he? <laughs> yes he is actually i can't remember i think it was uncharted 3 i don't remember that was when the game words with friends first came yes. out on iphone uh, and everybody right, in the world yeah. was playing it and people were playing and he would just destroy everybody oh, i need like, to battle him and Really? And uh, you're a cunning linguist. I used to and play, like, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I used to play speed scrabble. What? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, hang on. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, Todd's then like you the need coolest to, thing. You need to come up with him. nerdy stuff that I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> then you need, then you need to play him because uh, you know, I thought it was decent scrabble. The first stream. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah, absolutely. The first time I played him, he just utterly destroyed me. And wow. then the second time, I was like, and the first time, and the second time I played, I was like, all right. And I just did this thing where I like waged a war of attrition. Rather than trying to get better words, I just tried to block his. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just <laughs> and it just came down to this thing where like I would like blow his chance at a triple word score, blah blah blah. And that is the only time I beat him. Wow. It's just by basically nice. by playing ah. dirty. So by offensive. I love Nolan, it. sorry. Tactics. Uh, That's amazing. But, uh, amazing. But yeah, no, you should you should try playing Scrabble with him sometime. Yeah, I'll, I'll, when I'll you started, playing, I have a Nolan North story. I was not expecting it to oh, go in that direction. No. <laughs> I have, I have, I have lots of other Nolan North stories, but I can't tell any of them on broadcast. No, so. no, 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 don't <laughs> agree. Off screen, off screen. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, exactly. that's amazing. We're already over time. Thank you so much. Yeah. For thanks so much, Josh. Thanks, thanks for having me, you, guys. Josh. It's a lot it's of fun. Wonderful. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for the chat for watching and for playing. Yeah, thanks for buying our games yeah yeah keep, yeah. Buying, keep doing it keep making keep doing it. it yeah, please keep yeah we'll keep oh it God. don't worry about it yeah we're, we're still here we'll keep yeah, buying them like, take my money yeah. as philip j fry said oh, well, oh, I stopped. there I, you go just, our wireless controllers just ran out of battery oh, Perfect. No, has no, it's just, oh, amazing oh, do you want us to change yeah. scenes Todd? yeah let's oh, change the chatting and let josh escape there we go all right dude anytime you just 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 
just just click stop and leave and, yeah and you can jump out and then we're going to do our outro and all that sort of stuff so gotcha yeah i should yeah. probably like eat dinner and put yeah. my kid to get bed or something have a great evening have a great evening thank you all so much this was a lot of fun You're like, thanks. Thanks. take care you too. see you soon this bye. See you bye. bye amazing oh, oh let's hear legend. in the chat for josh Seriously. what a legend whoa I I've was... never felt like more like I can just sit back and listen. So good. Like, because, you know, as, as obviously sort of everyone sort of co-hosting, you try to drive it and you think, okay, what's next? What's coming? Aggressively talk over flowing. the guests, you know, usual, yeah. my Shut usual stuff. Um, um, <laughs> that was awesome. He just, he just ran wow. that. Man, it's so weird. Like, you know, it's funny how you actually, even you just said, Liam, and uh, how you talk about people who uh, uh, have influenced you and then meeting them. Mm. I was thinking people in this chat who have played this game. Or even us, yeah. Like, even you us. know, when Pagan that night. Remember when Pagan like got emotional because we were, you know, we were there oh, with Nolan. It was yeah. like, fuck, man, this, this is yeah. this is a decade. Well, how long? 15, Fourteen years? No. When was the first one? Uh, uh, it was two thousand and seven. Seven. Two thousand seven. Right. Yeah, fifteen years. That's wow. wild. Yeah. To think that people have dri- have carried this story with them and been so connected to it, and then we're having the co-creator of it. Like, and then The Last of Us too, because I totally forgot that and when he drops that, I'm like. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. <laughs> Last of Us yeah, 2. That little really indie game. They only yeah, make yeah. blockbuster God. games. That's all they do. That's wild. Um, look yeah, at these details. No, it has, look, Henry Avery on, like, engraved on the bell and all this yeah, kind of stuff. Oh, just, people can't see that. So, yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. I, there's, you know, it's your, all right. We'll see it next time. You will, actually. You very much will. Remember now, this story. Pagan, I don't know. Can we reveal? Have we got someone big next week? Or should we talk about that later? There's still TBC, so okay, at the moment we can't reveal them at the minimum, but we are hoping to try and get uh, a few more devs on to talk about yes. the structure. Um, I believe we're trying to get uh, a very high bar it? there, Josh. Sean S. I can't say his surname. S. S. Gage, Gage? I don't know how to say your surname. Oh, yes. I'm so sorry, Sean. If we do get you here, um, but oh. essentially we have another game dev, and um, Jeremy Yates as well is going to be on next week, I believe. We I believe. Can. Um yeah, be yeah cool. if we can. Who is the a, a game dev and we'll be talking about hopefully the chapter at sea right. if we get there. I, I know I <laughs> Lana <laughs> Pierce to come on today um, and she couldn't, so we're gonna talk to her and see if she'd be willing to obviously think she's incredibly talented in her oh. work. So like oh, we'll, you. we will see if we can organize some sort of uh, Get a meeting on. of the yeah, if we yeah, can make yeah. that happen, it would be cool too. And we also have another. We obviously have Nolan who will be joining us in yeah, the coming Yeah, he's in the weeks. game. And uh, then, in some of the he's in some of the later parts of the game. He does um, show up. Some you'll point. you'll enjoy his character. He's good. And then we have a ridiculously special guest who might be joining with Nolan for me? one of the episodes. Me? Is Liam? <laughs> Good for you, Liam. Yeah. Which everyone. So there's a lot. There's a lot. TBC. Out. Yeah. There's yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. Which TBC, we're working TBC, hard behind the scenes. We're doing what we can. Yeah. To it's make this little scheduling closestly <laughs> definitive playthrough you could possibly imagine. Mate, so without it being a normal this is way better than any other play. Totally. That's absolutely. That's joking. way to take a big poop on those guys. Um, no. <laughs> no. And we're together. <laughs> we're together. That was fun. Look, we're in person. Look at the size of the shoulders. Yeah. Hurt my hand. Pain How can there? so much awesome be in one room, honestly? Well, I know. We've got to do it there. one day. We will do it one day. 100%. Yeah. Oh, the I was just talking day. about you two. <laughs> oh, no, no. I thought you were the <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that you like, subconsciously just included me in that, though. That's really nice. I was, yeah, I was trying to go. It was just you in that room there, and that's all the awesome. And we, yeah, don't yeah, worry. Yeah, you know, it's just not good when you have to explain it. You don't have to explain it. We can be Fair. You know what? Scratch what I said. Yeah, take that one. Let's roll it back. Yeah. Let's, I'll just uh, take that one. Let's right. play through. Next week's Just Pagan. <laughs> All right, Just Special Guest Pagan. <laughs> I'd watch it. Oh, I mean, I'd probably mass. play it faster. <laughs> <laughs> yes, speedrun. I'm upset. I feel attacked. Quick, throw your rope up there. I uh, feel attacked. Throw your rope. <laughs> I'm leaving. Uh, no, no. All right, you legends. Fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for um, <laughs> co-hosting here with Pagan. And uh, Liam, thanks for coming over, mate. You can... All right, just check. <laughs> have that. There you go, double sound. See ya. Double Bye. sound. Lovely. I've got the Bye, outro everybody. ready to go. Ready? I'm going to do this outro. Go. Go. Thank you for being here, Legends. We'll be back soon. We'll keep you posted on Twitter and Instagram to let you know who's coming up. But Nolan is coming up, other game dev coming up, and one extra special guest that's going to blow your mind is coming up as well very soon. There's Liam's Trying hand. to time it. Trying to time it. Ah. Thanks, Pagan. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Liam. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs>